This is Bruce Ruffer, and this is the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for the MMA Halls! Mixed Martial A-Holes! MMA Halls, MMA Halls, MMA you like to be a mixed martial a Studios of New York, PFL 6, 2019, the last day, night, regular season action. We're going to react live on the MMA Home. Dragon. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, I got the dragons flying on my chesticles, and I am wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Jesse, how are you tonight? Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. Beautiful. All right, we're here for PFL. Let's do this. You ready for some fights? Yes. All right. Jesse's ready for fights. I'm ready for fights. Empty couch. More subdued tonight? I don't know. What yeah, do you say? I'm thinking tonight's probably going to be we're just going to chill out, you know, watch some fights, hang out, talk about whatever we want during between. Hanging with the boys. Yeah. We'll be hanging with the boys tonight. It will be a relaxed fight buddies tonight as we uh, enjoy these PFL fights, which is the last uh, night of the regular season, huh? That's what's going on here? Yes. What are you doing? So we have this skirt on the table, and it's a beautiful skirt, but uh, it's really... F I've been having, like, weird fluctuations in temperature lately. Yeah. And I, I think Menopause? It's, no, I think it's because I'm sick. And the skirt, when it's resting on your legs, feels like a blanket. Mm. Feels like burning hot. Well, maybe you should put shorts on. No, no I lifted my my leg pa my pant legs, so the air's touching my legs. But I roll it up so that I don't have a blanket on my lap. If you notice, I like to wear short shorts during the stream because it does get very hot in here. And any guests that we've had in here can confirm this. It gets hot. Well, we have all the other one air conditioning. Uh, system just doing the entire apartment over here and this door is open and we just get the residue the residue we get the air remnants? residue the remnants of ac that just trickles into this room with a little fan up there so it does get hot in here we have bright lights um but shorts tank top is the way see i was gonna wear a tank top today but then i thought about the last two times i wore a tank top and immediately you started off the show with boobies. Well, boobies bring the ratings. If you look and at our last couple of streams, I mean, the ratings are through the roof. Every time you have boobies out, we get more views. That's not true. Yeah, it is. I mean, look at the numbers. Well, I didn't feel like wearing a tank top because of that reason. And I didn't feel like wearing shorts because if I have to get up to pull my stuffy nose, you guys are going to see me in short shorts. And then that wouldn't be any different than me wearing a tank top. Well, all right. Sweat. That's right. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, let's move over to the ESPN Plus app. That's where the main card is taking place. I got you, Moss. And um, we have a Nirmaga Madoff. Umar. Umar is going to fight Sidamar Henorio. All right. Nirmaga Madoff, who is, who is he, Jesse? The cousin of? Khabib. Now, are you sure about this? You positive? Did you yes. do a uh, blood test? Yes. In fact, I, I read you an article over the last week that yeah. Umar was going to be... In PFL this this week. Oh, shit. We're supposed to pay attention? This is how he listens to the <laughs> MMA news. It's <laughs> like, why do we have this uh, segment if you don't you don't even know what you're talking about at the time? Well, in fairness, I mean, you don't you zone out, and I zone out, too. We, That's uh, true. So it's the show Fair of play. not listening to each other. Fair play. By the way, so I have this pain. What was that? Well, I don't want to high-five. I got pain. I got. I don't know if it's arthritis. Play. Yeah, just it's go like arthritis. this. It's not arthritis. I think, I think the old man in me Ugh, is coming out. I woke up this morning. It. We're just going to complain tonight. I woke up this morning, and I have this pain. Right in my knuckle over here. I think I have carpal tunnel or some shit. Okay, I don't know. I've told you this before, though. Arthritis is like more throbbing pain. Yeah, it's in and out. 
But you said it was like a sharp shooting it's pain. It's a sharp throbbing that pain. That sounds like you sprained something in there. Well, how did I sprain it in my sleep? I woke up and all of a sudden I had this If pain. you rolled over on it the wrong way, or I've done that before. It's not a master it's not a masturbation hand, if anyone's gonna ask that, it's not that. But um it is I don't know what it is. It's just like right in the knuckle over here. What the fuck is going on here? I didn't hit anything. I don't know. How many cousins does Habib have? That's a good question. I'm sure he has a litter of cousins. I'm, I'm assuming, right? Those Russians, they multiply. And they all look the same. They all have that same fucking One. missing link haircut. It's kind of wild. And it's the funny part is, like, if you come over to New York, all the barbers are Russian. And they give multiple, you know, different types of haircuts, all shapes and sizes. But you, I guess you go to Russia, Wonderful. and you all get the the same thing. Like you know how they have the chart on the wall where it's like all different haircuts. Mm-hmm. In Russia, it's just one haircut. That's it. It's just you just get the number one. That's, that's what you get in Russia. Jessica. That's not true. Yeah, it's no. It's, I've been to Russia many times. Oh, stop it! It's like I I, I take the number one. What would you like today? Uh, let's switch it up and do the uh, number one bullshit. This is number one bullshit. Hmm. Uh, that's, why I ha- that's how I feel barbershops are in Russia, right? Well, the good part is you'll never get a bad haircut because it's all the same. Everyone yeah. gets the same fucking haircut, right? <laughs> Let me get the number one. That should be the next shirt. Anyway, uh, let's see what's going on in the chat. You guys ready for some PFL? Wonderful, wonderful. BK Rota says Lil Chuck is fighting soon, bare knuckle style. Yeah, That's right, this Saturday. Pro Tool says Jackson Black, true, laughing my ass off Drunk Savage. What about Zabit's hair? Oh, well, good point. Zabit has a, a very Elvis style hair. He doesn't even cut it, though. It's not even a haircut. Like Zabit just he just froze it out. It's not like he gets a haircut. So when he gets the haircut, like Zabit just waits to get a haircut, one, one. and then when he gets it, I think number Moss, one. I would love to know where your logic comes from. Sometimes. Uh, look at all the Russian heads. Hmm. Not only are they all shaped the same, but they have the same haircut. Mm-hmm. It's the same hairstylist. There's actually one barber in Russia, one barber, and he does the number one. So there you go. You learn a lot on the show. You really do. The Godfather says, what's the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut? Two weeks. Real Real says, where is this being broadcasted? Atlantic City, New Jersey. Is it Jersey? Yeah. Oh. Tommy Arnold says, Zabit be, or Zabit Fro, Honest Abe. Zabit Raham Linga Madoff says, Jackson Rounds. Mark Jackson says, Orphanage Haircut. Post Resurrected F-U dot dot dot. Drunk Dog says ESPN Plus, real, real. Tommy Arnold, LOL, Mark. Jackson Black says the beat looks like Borat. Okay. Sean O'Connell, he's getting a little pudge. He gets the million dollars, and now he's doing a play-by-play thing, and he's look like he's packing on some poundage here, Jesse. Mm. I guess you don't need to stay slim when you're not fighting anymore. But we got Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, and Eves Edwards are your play-by-play team, but mute him because you have the MMA holes tonight, and you have some great commentary, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Anyway, um, all right. So this is the first fight on the card: Nurmaga Madoff versus Honorio. Um, oh, oh, oh! Who's that kid with the Honorio cookie? What? <laughs> what? Honorio. O R I O Nabisco. No? No. You know what's funny? I've never heard that before. Yeah, it's before your time. Yeah, it must be. (laughs) How many people are old enough to remember that wonderful, wonderful commercial from my... It's probably from the 80s or some shit. We uh, we watched a little bit of It. I've seen It before, the the, uh, remake of It. And we watched a little bit to get today. I was watching it again with Jesse. And the first time it was okay. You know, it was all right. And then the second time it was horrific. Like it was, we just stopped watching. It wasn't even b- really was believable. Like well, these I'm, kids are were put in these situations. That's like no normal kid. It just uh, and then <laughs> the guy with, with I don't know how many people have seen it. No, don't spoil. But it. there's a certain scene in there. You'll it's recognize long. it instantly. It, it's it takes place in the library. I'll just say that. And it's like, you know what's coming, and then it happens. And it just looks absolutely ridiculous, and it's it was horrible. Like honestly, like the original it was so much better. Um, they hit the nail on the head. See, it's so long. Jackson Round says it's so long. Yeah. It's like two hours and like twenty minutes. You could cut it down to an hour and thirty, and you're good. Okay, bad clown. This and that. It's like a marathon. That movie. It's a you no know, horror movie. Of the movie. same thing happening over and over and over. Yeah, again. It, it's it's a little ridiculous. I I 
Yeah, don't even watch it a second time. Don't even watch it the first time. And don't see it. You're going to waste your money. You waste your time. Don't do it. I, yeah. I'm just telling you now. You're not... I mean... Let me get. Let me give you a spoiler alert. It sucks. And they're making an It too. That's why I wanted to rewatch it. Because I was like, well, they're making... They have another one coming out, so... The beginning of the movie was great. The way they started it off was fantastic. And then it just went downhill. Yeah. So we're just killing some time waiting for the first fight to start on the main card. Uh, let us know your thoughts on anything. We're just going to have a little fun. We're going to chillax. Last night we had the Manimal on uh, the casting couch. Uh, Benaducci. Uh, John Benaducci. Let me know what you thought about John on the show. We had some mixed reviews. I think more positive than negative. I think right? so. Yeah, so I think so. Maybe one day we'll drag the Manimal back on the show. But let's know what the chat said. If you were here for the Manimal, let me know what you think in the chat. Would you want more Manimal? Yes? No? Uh, it says boss Cole Gar pixelated Vigo real real bro. I was just thinking about that question in my mind. Thanks for answering. The Godfather says what film? It. Uh, Pro Tool says John Paul Lascote. I just started drinking again after ten years and it feels great. Laughing my ass All off. All right, yeah, hit that fucking bottle. Well, don't encourage it. Maybe he's an alcoholic. <laughs> well, listen, everything in moderation. Uh, Annie says Manimal is so wonderful. Wonderful. Post resurrection says yes. Wonderful. Ebs Rock says Febreze that couch. <laughs> <laughs> Febreze We lit it on fire When he left <laughs> Speaking of fire the, the room is on fire From I don't know What we were thinking about uh, Smoking indoors That probably wasn't The smartest thing yeah, but we got, Do you know how long It took to get that Smell out of the room <laughs> The skunk Ugh. Wouldn't leave But um, yeah Manuel's a good guy He really is Nice guy oh, Full of a lot of information super chat. Riddle luck Yes With the one nine nine A dollar ninety nine Yeah Wonderful Wonderful Thank you Appreciate so, you So this isn't a fight highlight Oh, yeah, it is. It looked like it was a fight for a minute. Nah, they're just... Wasting playing. time. All right, so how many fights are on this thing? Seven. Seven fights. Okay, hold on. Here we go. So seven fights. We got Magomedo versus Honorio. We got Estrefi versus Darius. Um, Grisham versus Makatin. Uh, Asaib versus Shumatu Fadafula. Yusupov versus Nemkov. Magalhães versus Cleveland and Ishii versus Rocholtz. Rocholtz. Okay. Um, all right. Listen, there's a lot of older fighters on this card. There, you know, a lot of these guys can't sniff a UFC fighter's ass. I, although, how uh, how old is Umar? This guy is probably He's young, young, right? Young, yeah. He's probably the highlight of this thing. You know, someone that could turn into something. Who knows? He's ten and zero. But other than that, these guys are mostly journeymen and, and just looking to get paid and good for them. I'm glad they're getting paid because the fights aren't bad in PFL. They're 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 entertaining. These aren't like the top tier MMA fighters. They're very good, but you know they're not. Not the, Moss. They're top tier. They're top tier. They're they're these guys are are freaking like you'll never find any other fighter like them. Do you think they're um Kevin from Chicago good? You yeah, know, they, that good. You know what? I think Kevin from Chicago might even beat them. Wow. Okay. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty. That's pretty good. That's it. That's it. Yeah, good, 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 good. All right. Now the question is this: with seven fights to react to, how many eggplant rises are we gonna get? I'm not thinking much. No, huh? No, I'm not getting that feeling tonight. I think we'll have a couple, but uh. What are you gonna guess? How many eggplant rises? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. Okay. I'm not gonna put my money. I maybe Rashid. We might get a finish out of. Um, it's one. Isayev will probably get a finish out of. It's two. And that's all I'm going to put my money on, really. Two finishes. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go with I have seven. I'm going to go four. I'm going to say four finishes tonight. All right. All I, right. I think they want blood. It's the last fight before the playoffs, and points matter, right? It's not even about getting a decision. The points do matter. And my shirt's rising up. It's very small. No, I was, just, I was just looking at the design. That's um. It. So I'm going to say four. Oh, shit. The lights just went out. <laughs> this poor girl is talking over here and the lights just shut out on her. So, yeah. How does PFL compare to Triton fights in your opinion? Um, I mean, listen, PFL has the money behind it. So the production naturally should be better than Triton fights. I think Triton fights really overachieves. I really do. I, I believe that for an AMI organization, not only is the space a, a great spot to go to see a fight. Yeah. But watching it through the live stream, watching it back, it's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. It's some of the best visuals I've seen on a regional event. So, I mean, PFL, it's ESPN you, you're working against. What do you think? I, sometimes I have no idea what she's laughing at. I mean, she's smiling, so that's good. What do you think? 
Yeah, it's great. I what's like it. I, I, what's there to say about it? It's a good. I don't think too that far into it. You know, like if it's good, it's good. It's no PFL versus Triton fights. That was the question. Oh, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's on the casting couch, right over the head. Yeah. Uh, no, Triton fights is better. Triton fights is better. Yeah, of course. Oh man, look at that. So Jesse says Triton's better. There's Khabib. All right. There he is, the cousin. So, so how old is this kid? We didn't get an age on him. It's not on topology. They'll show it on tail of the tape. So Jesse's got a little uh, cold, so you he- you'll be hearing sniffling throughout the stream. Oh. Uh, enjoy. As Jesse has been infected by the manimal. I think she's allergic to the manimal. That's what I was saying earlier. <laughs> like, it's just happenstance that every time we meet up with the manimal, the day after, I get sick. <laughs> you need allergy shots. You need uh, a yeah. manimal shot. The last time we met up with him, Monday I got sick. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt like I was going to die on Monday. And I felt like I was going to die today. Mm. And it's always after we meet up with the animal. I wake yeah. up like horrible. Some people are allergic to cats, some dogs, some animals. You know, maybe you're allergic to animals. Yeah. I don't know. Wonderful, All right. Wonderful. All right. When is this fight going to start? What are we doing here? The fucking, they're just showing like highlights and stuff. We want, we want carnage. Bring in the gladiators. Let's go. Donation. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. This is Coon Cox. Where's my Coon Cox? What are your thoughts on Marty McCoon man saying he wants to fight Edwards? He's ducking Colby like most black teens duck the police. Hmm. Um, uh, fighting Edwards. Well, Edwards doesn't deserve a title shot. He is uh, better than Colby, but he doesn't, doesn't... I think Edwards has a longer winning streak than Colby. Let me see. Hold on a second. Let me see. Leon definitely doesn't deserve. He deserves Masvidal. That's what he deserves. Let's see. Leon Edwards. Is that what? Uh, he's not. It's going to be Usman versus Colby. That, that's the fight. That is the fight. So I wouldn't take that serious in any way. Leon Edwards. All right. Here we go. There he is. 18, 3, and 0. Uh, Edwards is on a 1, 2, Trey, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight fight winning streak from 2016. What is Colby on? Colby's on a nice run too. Colby. Covington. All right. The Chaos. 15, 1, and 0. Oh. And he is on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, shit. Leon Edwards. What? Nicholson was on the. Uh... Did Nicholson win? Yeah. Oh, good for Alex Nicholson. Did he win by... Uh, this is the second fight on the card. Oh, shit. Got to, what is that buzz? Oh, you have it plugged in? Unplug? Thank you. Um, so, yeah. Leon Edwards. Colby Covington. And Leon Edwards, if I'm not mistaken. He did beat... Wasn't he Usman's last loss? So... Guys, I hate to break it to you, Colby fans. But, uh, tail of the tape, I, I say Leon Edwards... And Colby, 18, 3, and 0. 23 I mean, years old, Umar. All right, so get, get to that tail of the tape. Umar is 23, 39 for Honorio. Uh, 5 foot 8, Umar. 5 foot 7, is it Sidemar? 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 Uh, 136 pounds for Umar, 135 for the other. Both of them 69 inch reach. Uh, 35.5 inch reach for Honorio with a 5.5 inch reach advantage at 41 inches for. Umar. <laughs> Boss is blows it up, McGregor. Kevin, I mean, here's the thing. Like, I, d- I didn't realize how many Colby Covington dick riders are out there. Like, it is insane. Like, the guy's on an amazing run. But people have his cock lodged so far down to their throats. It's, it's, I've never seen anything like it. Like, McGregor was pretty bad, right? Yeah. A lot of people were jumping on that boat. The ole, the ole, ole, but all that stuff. McGregor's the best. McGregor's this. McGregor's that. But he did win, you know, two titles. Um, I mean, say what you want. He still has official belts. Colby hasn't won those belts yet. We'll see what happens. We'll see if Colby can meet Uz- beat Usman. That would be a huge accomplishment, in my opinion. And Usman, like Rogan was saying, has bad knees. Uh, it's probably going to nullify each other. It's going to come down to the what happens on the feet. Colby has an amazing pace. So does Marty. I think it's a great fight. I really do. But um, I don't understand how people are so excited about a guy that just tries to point people and not try to finish his opponent. Like, I mean, at least Usman is finished, guys. I mean, Colby, I, I, people weren't alive in the chat. 
since he's finished someone. So I mean, I, I listen. I guess everyone's got their thing. All right, let's uh, let's start the clock over here. And get ready to start this up. Regardless, I do want to see that fight though. Usman versus Colby is a good one. All right, and if Edward somehow can get past Masvidal, which is not no layup in any way, um, Edwards versus Usman. If if Colby loses. Uh, Edwards versus Usman, I'm in. You know, that was the last time Usman lost. I think it's a great fight. So, there's a lot of good things at welterweight. All righty. So, Nurmagomedov versus Honorio. We're throwing down. We got a Vlad Donicione. Dagestanis of the Kens here, also Russia. They all look the same. <laughs> Give me the Nurmagomedov special. <laughs> Say no more. One across the top and trim the chin strap beard. <laughs> it's so true, right? That's it. They all have the same haircut. Wonderful. Like we said at the top of the show. I'll take the number one. That's it. Because there's no other numbers on the barber uh, uh, picture over there. All right. So here we go. Nurmagomedov, Honorio. We got Nurmagomedov with the red gloves. Blue gloves for Honorio. Oh, a nice head kick by Nurmagomedov. Oh, the cousin of Habib. So PBR, what's up? PBR with the 499. Hello, guys. And hi to all the wonderful, wonderful people out there. Wonderful, wonderful. Hello. Thank you. Listen, there are certain people in this chat, the Real Reels, the PBRs, the Vlads, that donate every single show. We really appreciate you guys. Seriously, as much as we horse around, thank you so much. It's uh, extremely generous to you guys. You are right? Pectorals ripping? Yeah. Maybe I didn't stretch enough. That's right. Ah. Just put some, rub some CBD on your titties. You'll be fine. Um, all right. So Nurmagomedov is what, 23, you said? Yeah. Wow, he's young. 23 years old and 10 pro wins, fighting in PFL. Drops a right, trying to get to side control on Honorio inside the guard. So Honorio scrambling around on the mat. He's on a two-fight winning streak. Wow, he's a plus 900, Honorio. Anyone put any bets on any of these fights tonight? A little bet DSI action. Let us know in the chat. What do you think of this kid in Nurmagomedov? Not bad so far. I've been watching him. I mean, he's doing all right. Strong. Yeah. He's got some some pretty significant striking going on. So. Oof. Nice right. He's inside the guard. Nice right. He does resemble Habib like in the way he stands. He's actually a little more cut up than Habib is. He also likes to play on his feet a little more than Khabib does. There we go. And then he's asking for a stand-up. So Honorio gets back up to the feet. And there they go. So PFL number six. Honorio versus Nurmagomedov. Nurmagomedov gets those legs up pretty high. Nice kicks. I wonder if he trains at AKA. Do you know? Does it say? Head kick by Honorio. Honorio. Hmm. Doesn't say his gym. Nice right coming in by Nurmagomedov. That's close training partner, so I'm, I'm assuming they train out of the same gym. Honorio with a nice kick to the body. Habib tries to go upstairs with the foot again. Habib? But misses. I mean, Habib. <laughs> Umar? <laughs> Umar. Oh, a nice head kick by Umar. Habib. So Honorio trying to roll on the ground. The Brazilian. So it's a little Brazilian jiu jitsu versus wrestling going on. Or Sambo. History timeline. Moss 2015 McGregor drop your draws. I'm sucking you off until the Khabib fight's over. Moss summer of 2019. A lot of guys sucking off Colby. Real, real guys. Check out my egg one southern born one. I've been <laughs> sucking Colby off since Kim. Posting since February. I didn't. And thank you, uh, history timeline. I didn't. I just. We just followed real, real because I wanted to. I didn't know he was gay. So we wanted to follow him just to see what was going on over there. And sure enough, he is. It's confirmed. It is 100%. Um, Colby Covington throbbing penis and mouth posts. If you want to go check it out for yourself, what do you think about that? Is that that obsession that he has over Colby Covington? It's really weird, right? Uh, I think he masturbates to him. Listen, everybody <laughs> has their thing. <laughs> to each his own. I don't judge. I thought I was bad with Connor, but Jesus Christ, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Like it's literally like a shrine. His Instagram is a shrine to Colby yeah, Covington. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep my opinions to myself. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't like guys that finish. He likes guys <laughs> with a lot of stamina. I don't know. He likes right. guys that build their stamina in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Uh, all right. Go follow him if you want to check it out for yourself. All right. So uh, Nurmagomedov inside the guard of Honorio. Trying to grind out 
with 20 seconds left in the place. You can stop the Siberian Express. Choo-choo we got Vlad Express. coming in. The majority of Colby fans are exactly that of which they make fun of. Nerds, incels, and virgins. <laughs> Every time I click on a Colby fan's profile, it's either some gamer nerd or a political meme page. No actual pictures of themselves. It's funny. Thank you, Vlad. Didn't it is you pretty say funny. you something about... Like, yeah, my Colby theory, fans. I'm telling you, they are solidifying my theory. So Colby Covington was bullied as a kid, right? Right. So he becomes this mixed martial artist. He uh, he has this nice wrestling background, and he's very good at what he does. He really is. Then he has this bully mentality where he's going to go out there and just you know throw it around. But he clearly was bullied before. The Colby fans were all bullied. So here they are, their savior, Colby Covington, who is king of the bullies now, is their god. And, and everyone that's been bullied back in the day is all a Colby Covington fan. And if you look at the people that are supporting Colby right now, they all have the same thing. Like, it does suck. Bullying is not cool, you know. Uh, you, you see that happen, you, you feel horrible for those people because, it's you know, it's not right. But um, now you have a savior in <laughs> Colby Covington. It's crazy, man. It is crazy. Like, you see, you look at their accounts, and they have four teeth. They have these thick-ass glasses. It, 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 I feel bad for these poor kids. Or grown men. Grown men. <laughs> but, I mean, listen. Everyone needs a thing. A lot of people didn't like the Connor hype train, and, and I was all over that. I thought the shtick was great. But, um, you know, the Colby thing is an interesting phenomenon. And it really is. Regardless, I'd probably rather see Colby win the title because it's better for the show. I think it's more fun to watch. Colby is more um, interesting on the mic than Marty, you know. But um, Marty's going to beat him. Nice head kick. head kick. Yeah, Normaga Madoff is looking good to start this second round. Let me know what you think about that theory in the chat. I mean, if you're a Colby fan, I'm not trying to insult you. It's just a weird thing. I mean, <laughs> Shellac Boy says Colby is my savior. <laughs> it's kind of bizarre. It's kind of like the Trump thing, too. It's like the people that are like super hardcore. Like, I couldn't care. He's my president. I'll support him. I don't give a fuck w- which way I lean. He's my president. And what, what are we going to do? You know, there's nothing we can do. I can make jokes here and there, but... It is what it is. Until we see the next option, we deal with it. But there are some people that use Donald Trump as their savior, too. And it's just like, fuck, man. Bullying is a real thing. So this fight is on the feet. Their Maga Madoff looking good. Moving forward. Honorio. Oh, eats more toes to the face. I tell you, this kid, he's got pretty good striking, huh? Yeah, he's not bad. I think it's just cool to see, like, the complete opposite. Like, you expect him to be on the ground a lot because of Khabib. And it's cool to see that he didn't really adopt his cousin's um, tactics. He kind of has his own. Oh. It was a nice left by Honorio as he ate a kick to the body. And Habib is working that body up. Stop saying Khabib. I mean Habib. Umar. I, want, I, I don't know why I want to keep on calling, calling him Habib. They're all like one person. It's like one <laughs> Kajistanian, uh, Dagest- Dagestanian Dagestanian fighter. They're all the same, right? Kajistan, Boss. Dagestan. <laughs> I like. <laughs> Who knows? Who the fuck knows? You can stop the Siberian Express. Manny C. What's up, Manny C? It's true, it's true. Moss Colby fans are the same guys who will soon be looking for Bigfoot soon. You know the type unfuckable white guys. <laughs> you know, listen. Cool, I, and I, I'm cool. Listen, I'm cool with everybody. I don't give a fuck. I just like joking around here. But you give my white people a bad name, Colby fans. What's going on here? It's like, yeah, Colby Covington, MAGA, let's do this. <laughs> it makes me not want to root for the guy It's like what are we doing Leg kicks by Honorio But like I said before I do feel that uh, Colby would be a hell of a lot more fun To root for as a champion like, Or just watch as a champion Yeah, you know, It's like kind of like John Jones you, you love him you hate him You, you gotta watch him Except John Jones is good Real real A lot of Colby fans are diehard right wingers Big politics Anytime we see an alley, we jump on the train. Colby also just so happens to be amazing and maybe the best <laughs> to ever do it. 
anyone that served loves Colby too. Hashtag real 170 champ. Hashtag Eastman ducking. Bro, <laughs> bro, you did not. <laughs> you didn't help yourself out there. <laughs> Oh god. That was good. Oh god. <laughs> I love it. I hope Colby sticks around. I hope he doesn't go to WWE. I hope he does stick around. And and the worst thing that's gonna happen to Colby is if he loses. That's gonna be the worst. Look what happened to McGregor when he lost. I can't wait to see everybody all the Colby train reactions. When McGregor when- got choked out, right? Um, it was like it sucked. I was in the building for that. It was just like, holy shit, this sucks. But then we had the excuse of, well, you know, he jumped up two weight classes. He's, you know, he took a guy on short notice. He didn't even have to take the fight. And we had a million excuses for that. Mm. Um, and then when he lost to Habib, he lost to a guy that's 27-0. and 0, You know, like, right. I mean, so it's like the guys that McGregor lost to, you could make excuses for. If, if, <laughs> if Colby Covington gets smashed by Usman, that is humiliating. Because it's literally the same fucking style, just a darker skin guy doing it. Like, he's just getting... It would it would be he has nothing to to win mm-hmm. in this thing like it would be tough it would be a tough loss so Colby fans have to be praying to the MAGA gods out there that he will get this win because it's going to be brutal for him you can't really make many uh, excuses so Nirmaga made off looks like he's winning this two zip. Honorio tries a flipping, spinning kick. You can't stop this idea. And that round is over. We got true grit. I have a hard on for the Askren and my upcoming match. Askren will prove once again wrestling is superior to BJJ just like Sakuraba did back in the day when he smashed the Gracies. I'll come and I'll come again when Covington beats Marty. No homo. <laughs> I do want to see that Askren versus Maya. I like that. It is. It's literally <laughs> legit jujitsu versus wrestling. That's cool. I'm all over that. <laughs> what happened? Uh, did anybody else see this Heineken commercial? What happened? No, oh, it's a funny com- <laughs> That's a really funny commercial. <laughs> Wait till it comes on again. Let what me happened? Know. Let me know if you guys saw it. It was, it was funny. This guy was at a bar. They were all watching sports. I'll tell you in a minute. You can't stop this Iberian Express. Juju motherfuckers. Gnome Zamak. To the morons in the chat, real reels comment was ironical. Cringe is cringe, black, white, or green. <laughs> All right. There you go. Thank you, Gnome Zamak, for the donation. All right. So let's go to this third round. I don't know, because we're not listening to these guys, I don't know what Nirmaga made off. Is this just, this is not for the tournament, though, right? Is this just like a showcase fight? I don't think this is to get into the playoffs, is it? Well, we'll find out. Yeah, I think this is just like one of those showcase fights. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know what the deal is. Nermaga Madoff is cruising to the zip, I think. What do you think, Jess? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're supposed to. Oh, what are you hitting with there? What happened? Oh, fuck. What'd you do? Every time. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay. There we go. Just tell me to hit the button. I'll hit it for you. I got you, kid. It should be right in the middle so that we can both hit the button when, we, when well, it's necessary. Next studio. Ooh, a nice leg kick. Oh, shit. Nurmaga Madoff kicks the lead leg and then comes upstairs. He's kick city. It's a showcase. All right. Thank you, Jackson. Thank you. Thank you, Jackson. Raise your hand if you want to speak. Jesse, that's right. Tell him. It's like uh, it's like class, or we should have a conch. Last night was difficult, right? To get the get a word in edgewise. I'll it raise was, my hand at you, Moss. <laughs> it was like a free for all. So, this fight here is gonna probably be a decision. We get to see Habib's cousin win by a decision. Run, it runs in the family, I guess. This kid that he's fighting is 13-6-0 on a two-fight win streak. And he's fighting from Bellator, too. His last fight was in Bellator. Oh, we got a takedown by Nurmaga Madoff. So this is a bantamweight fight with three minutes left in the turd. And Habib... Uh, Habib. <laughs> I need this fight to end so I can stop calling him Habib. 
Unmar. Unmar. You feeling all right tonight, Moss? Yeah, it's, I had a hot chocolate before the show. Yeah? I lost weight. I don't know how I did. With I'm not doing anything different. Chocolates? I'm having like sweets and hot chocolate. You I'm losing weight. Jews that control New York. Oh my goodness. Moss doesn't really get it because of his soft left wing and white politics. Remember, folks, Moss wants to take your guns. He loves Mayor Big Bird de Blasio. <laughs> Pro abortion, duped by black muscles. MAGA hats makes Moss think of Nazis and concentration camps. Hmm. Yeah, it's very accurate. It's, uh, you know what? Actually, I, I'm I already picked out like three things, four <laughs> things in there that were completely wrong. But well, I got to say this. Um, I actually donated that to myself, Jesse. That was me that put the donation in. So, uh, Nirmaka made off inside the guard of Honorio, trying to get some work done to end this fight. Can he get a finish here? I don't think that's going to happen. Well, we'll see. As you're scooting him around the mat. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin's talking about looks. <laughs> what? <laughs> I th oh, you know man. what I think? Yeah. I think Kevin <laughs> is like about looks. is secretly like <laughs> has an envy for you. You know, like he he's so obsessed with you that he wants to <sighs> be you. He wishes he was you. That because he was bullied so much as a Covington fan. He was bullied. Listen. You know, like, it's, it's it right, makes though. perfect sense why he acts the way he does and says the shit he does. The, the community, the way it's set up, it's it's set up for everyone like, to the, have a chance. The constant need to have to prove himself <laughs> with, like, the wrestling and shit like that. Like, it, yeah. it's all connected. He yeah. probably has, like, all those trophies on the wall, and he's, like, reliving, like, when he was a kid and he was wrestling. He's like, that one over there is when I was the wrestling state champion, champion over there. Champion? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Check out that one over there. Uh, listen, uh, as long as you guys are hanging out, I don't give a fuck. But um, it was funny. Um, we were talking before the other day, and they're back down to the ground. It's definitely gonna be a decision. Nurmagomedov's gonna get the win, unless something happens under these thirty seconds. We were talking about it before, and we were saying, you know what? I think we are tougher than MMA fighters. I think we are tougher than these professional athletes because there is no one in their right mind that would sit here on camera and take it and have fun and just roll with the punches the way we fucking do. We've seen yeah. people come on here and just crumble, like just wouldn't want to be on camera and do yeah. this on a regular. I and mean, I think in our fairness, skin we just is, don't care. <laughs> I think our skin is so thick that it's, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. I don't know how we got to this. Because in the beginning, I you was nervous. You have to be a, a special kind of person. I think, we're, I think maybe narcissism. I don't know what it is. Complete nuts. But... um. It's not easy to do. And I was walking with her. And I was like, man, we got some thick fucking skin. If anyone says, hey, do you guys fight? I'm like, we do this. A lot of, like, look at John Jones. When John Jones has a microphone in front of him, the guy caves. The guy's the best fighter of all time. You missed the commercial again. I don't do commercials. This, it's a funny commercial. Guys, pay attention to the Heineken commercial. They're not even, some people are just watching us. So you well, got to tell them what the commercial the is. people who are. I just said the Heineken commercial. Yeah, tell them what the commercial Heineken. was. You gotta, if we're doing a reaction stream, a lot of people don't see these commercials. You got to remember, too, there are people I, from all over I'm the world. I'm not good at explaining things. Well, if it's so funny, what happened? <laughs> they were all at a bar watching a soccer game. And then a guy, a guy's friend comes in and he turns around from the bar and from the monitor to hug his friend. And all of a sudden, his friend <laughs> starts jumping up and down and screaming. And then the look on the guy's face, he was like... Like, it's hard to explain. You just have to watch it. It's funny if you watch it. If I explain <laughs> it, it's not funny. Well, you, you got to remember, I, and I think you forget this, and, and see John Paul says, I'm only watching this. We are doing a reaction show. I get it, Moss. So. I get it. I got it. You don't have to keep <laughs> saying it over and over again. All I'm saying is, yeah. at some point, you can look up the fucking commercial on YouTube. It's funnier if you watch it. I'm not okay. going to explain it to you. I'm playing with the uh, with this raccoon pen. penis right now. Real Real's raccoon penis. Just stab you with the booby. Okay. Thank you for stabbing me in the boobs. So who do you think gets this win? Umar. Umar? Umar. All right. Yeah, I think this is not even a, a question who got this win. Umar Nurmagomedov. We're going to get the official decision in the showcase fight. And that's that. Moss and Jesse have beautiful faces, uh, though my nose would take up the whole camera of my stream. Thank you, uh, pixelated Vigo, for the beautiful comment. We might do um, an edible stream on on Saturday, maybe. I don't know. 
I'm da- I'm kind of down with that. I love CBD. I am so hooked on CBD. And let's see the official. Yep, Nurmaga Madoff gets the win. Not a surprise. But I'm telling you, try out Timeless. Seriously. Um, it's the cheapest way you're going to get a good CBD. Not this bullshit stuff like that you don't even know what the hell they put in it. Timeless is some good shit down below. Um, it's great for anxiety. It really is. Or just, just relaxing you. Just kind of, you know, getting you in the mood, in the zone. You know, that that helps a lot too. Especially when you got a bunch of trigger, trigger people in a, a cell phone next to you right over here. It's like bulletproof. So if you guys have any sort of anxiety or, you know, in stressful situations or anything like that, you just uh, try out the CBD. It might work. 50 likes. All right. Yeah, we'll do it uh, when JVH comes back. The good shit. I can get good stuff in Oregon, too. All right. There you go. Two times I've seen it. You guys think Chris should bring back the faux hawk? This is a faux hawk, dick bag. What the fuck? Faux hawk? What? Wait, this what? is a faux hawk. That's oh, what it that? is. A faux hawk supposed to go all the way down the back. Nah. Of the well, in New York, the faux hawk is just squished because my headphones. It goes up. It goes around like that. Yeah. This. That's but this, a this is not a faux hawk. A faux hawk goes down like this. Not in New York. Yeah. Look at the the barbershop. How many barbershops did you go to as a kid? Yeah, New York. I've seen kids with faux hawks. No, nah, it's considered this, a faux hawk. This what you have is not a faux hawk. It's what like is a, it? Just a, a normal cut, like looks like um, uh, looks like a fucking beautiful haircut. Faux hawk. I bet Kevin has a faux hawk. I've had so fun facts. Well, hold on, I'll tell you in a second. You can stop the Siberian Express, choo choo motherfucker. One Southern born one. In case you get the first Greetings, one. nerds and virgins. Love him or hate him. Now everyone respects him. On my Instagram, we love posting about Colby even <laughs> more than posting facts on black criminality. 13% population, 50% violent crime oh, rate, hashtag black facts, hashtag 1 million black gang members. It was funny. Um, Thank you for the donation. I, I was listening to, uh, I was watching Rogan versus Maynard, versus like they fought. Rogan having uh, Maynard on from Tool. I don't know if anyone's a Tool fan out there, bringing back the 90s. But um, they were talking about how, um, you know, people in their comments and does Maynard read his comments and and speak to people out there and get their opinions. And they were talking about how all the negative things. Now people spend all their time on just spewing hate and the reasoning behind it. And it is it is a fascinating thing. Like, for instance, Real Real. Like, he's probably a smart guy, right? He has his own business. You real know, Real? He's, yeah. He's probably smart. Dude. No, we spoke to him on the phone. He's, he seems like he has his head together. I don't think Real Real spews hate. I think he trolls. I think Kevin spews hate. No, well, no, I think there is a severe inner racism. I mean, he's racist. Well, yeah, there's, there's definitely you, a racism. If we, met, if we went out for drinks with Real Real, he would be like, yeah, 100%. Racist. Yeah. So listen, and if you're racist, knock yourself out. Right, Do whatever the fuck fair. you want. But um, it, the, the, the thing to just kind of spew it on a regular and then, and then put all that time aside to just push hate out there, like, it is bizarre. Like, like why? <laughs> there's so many, like, you could do so many good things with yourself, like, jerk off. Like, I'd rather jerk off. Or get, get more wrestling on your resume. <laughs> well, you know? I don't know. I don't know what Real Real does there, but but I'm just saying, like, what is the reasoning behind it? Like, like to, to go out and I'm on this show, it's fine. Knock yourself out. I have fun doing it over here. But then when the show is over and then it continues to pour us onto social media on Twitter or on Instagram, like, what is? Isn't there better things to do? Like, maybe it's not hater. Maybe it's an <laughs> obsession. Like, maybe they have like an obsessive compulsive disorder type thing. I look at it like this, Jess. They didn't get the attention they needed as a kid, right? They need attention in the worst way as a kid, right? So they didn't get that attention. So they're crying for help, and they, they decide to, to go out there and just push it, you know like push it on. And the reason why I know this is when I was a kid, I always wanted to make people laugh. Like, that was my thing. So I didn't get the attention that I needed, but I never pushed it well, in a way. you did in a way because when you were making people laugh, you were getting the attention. But that's how I got it. I chose to make people laugh. Like now they are choosing, I guess, in this format to make people laugh. But when they go on Instagram and start attacking other people, I'm curious what the, there's no one laughing you know anymore. It's funny you say that. I was watching The Sopranos today. So I'm, I'm, I'm and, wondering. And he was like, that does everyone's problems relate to their mothers? The yeah, I think so. <laughs> I do believe that that's the case. Got to figure out. The best dream that I ever had was being gangbanged by four Colby <laughs> Covingtons. One was humping me from behind. While I was sucking another Colby and jerking off two other Colbys all at the same time. Oh my God. I wish so much that dreams could actually come true. Wow, that's some dream over there. That's real, real gay. Jesus. Well, thank you, any real, real that jumps in. Thank all you right. for that. All right, 28 is a Streffy, 31 for Doris, 6'3, a Streffy, 6'Doris. Uh, 
Estrefi is 244 pounds. 246 pounds is Darius. Darius with a 76 inch reach with a 4 inch reach advantage for Estrefi at 80 inches. And you guys don't really care about the leg reach. Yeah, who cares about the legs? No one cares about that shit. All right, so this is the second fight we're going to react to. Um, but regardless, like, I just, I like getting, and she she yells at me for this all the time. I like to get into people's heads and understand reasoning behind. No, I, I don't mind you getting into other people's heads. I mind when you try to get into my head. But I do to don't everybody. Don't try yeah. and get into my head. Well, here's the reason why. Because I you're just. you're going to bring out a whole, a whole other set of problems. Okay, so I won't do that. But what I'm saying is I like learning about people because I find human beings fascinating. Sure, right? that's fair. And yeah. I'm sure people find us fascinating trying to do something like this, like on YouTube. You know, it's a weird thing to, to try to get into. But um, that's why I don't give a fuck. Like when people go out there and say stupid shit, I don't give a shit. Like you can say whatever the hell you want. I don't care. You know, re donations, knock yourself out. If you want to be racist, if you don't want, I don't care. I honestly don't care. It's not me saying it, it's you. And if it makes you feel better, then say it. But um, I just uh, want to understand what is behind it. You know, like, where does it come from? It's fascinating. I would love to do a show where we interview, like, one personality at a time, like a real, real, like Kevin from Chicago, and find out about their past. What got them to this point where they're just fucking furious at life? Like, it, it is crazy and fascinating. All right, let's get into the fights and stop uh, getting all deep here. But maybe one day. All right, here we go. First round. Oh, we do have to beat the shit out of the ceiling. So thank you for the likes. As we have a Streffy versus Darius. This fight over here. Two L's. All right, here we go. Three points. All right, so this is a fight. Because I ever feel like you have to sneeze, and then it's right there, and then it, you don't? Yeah, it's annoying. You know, tickle in your nose. Oh, man. A Streffy Streffy. goes charging in, and Darius does the matador and gets out of the way. This has got to be a knockout, right? Come on. Give me a knockout here. Uh, uh, Darius lost by a submission in his last fight. And Estrefi lost by a decision. So let's see. Hopefully we can get something good here. I want to know, though. Like this, So you still get six points if you finish in the first, five in the second, and four in the third. But I want to know like what these guys need to, to move on. Like what's... What do we got going on here? Both these guys, both of these guys aren't young, right? Oh shit, they're not that old. Twenty-eight and tw and thirty-one. They look a hell of a lot older, right? Hmm. Some war miles. Because they're heavyweights. Heavyweights always look older. Is that the case? Yeah. We well, gotta think they're heavier, so their skin stretches out more, so you don't see as many wrinkles, right? I don't it's think gotta that's the case. Gotta smooth it all out. <laughs> I don't know. Fake sneezes are triggering. I'm racist against 49-year-old white cucks from New York. I keep getting older, according Oof. to Kevin. <laughs> He's aging. <laughs> He's aging me. Why is he so angry? Kevin, what are you, why are you so angry? <laughs> you can't talk anymore. Like what? Kevin's bullet just shot uh, you Oh, nut the shot. Neck. Jesus. Why is he so mad? <laughs> I can't even. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> he gets so angry. You know, and he used to hate Real Real. Like him and Real Real. Now they're teaming up. Like they, they made up. They must have got together. Bullies unite. Or bullied <laughs> unite. It's like, oh, man. Well, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> BBC got in the nads. He doesn't like it. So Darius is in the corner. Kind of shaking it out. Letting the genitals swing a little bit. See if he can get going here. Doesn't look like that felt good. So we put up a, a video before this on how to put oh, donation. You can stop the Siberian Express. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Real, real. Moss starts trolling community. Wonders why people troll lol. Father, two uncles made men. My mother was melodramatic about everything. Fled New York from a mafia war. PTSD from the wars. Oh shit! 129 IQ. Oh MSU, my God! Jesus Christ! And logistics. Thank you for no the donation. GF, wife, no kids. Okay, thank you. I'll reread that. But holy shit, Darius, Mo Darius comes out of that nut shot, guns blazing, lets the hands loose, and finishes a streffy in the first round. <laughs> Oh my god. 
ask you a question. Good. Yeah. Whenever you grow the eggplant, that's great. But then you grow the eggplant and move it so it keeps tapping my head. You guys supposed to go like this. Uh, and it was, uh, can you not? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Yes, you can. Holy shit, a barrage of punches gets it done. All right, let's play the 50 likes as we get a finish and a 50 likes. All right, Jesse, let's beat up the ceiling. Let's go. Oh, I've got oh, it. Uh, that's not my fault. That's not my fault. It's the community's fault. The in love experience. Your assessment on Kevin is correct. He is a hateful moron that goes on all the usual hate websites talking crap. Why is Kevin upset? Not enough priestly BBC for his Polish perversion. That and the Jews beat the Polacks in every category. Is what he a Polish? Retard. Oh man, he's Polish too. Well. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there with the jokes. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, it's too easy. All right. Thank you for the donation. Ian Kevin. Left. This guy's getting lit up tonight. All right. Let's see. Let's see. And by the way, Ann, I'm 42. How dare you make me 43? All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'll, I'll play Real Reels again. You just refreshed it. Because I missed it. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Let's see. Moss starts trolling community. Wonders why people troll lol. Father... Two uncles made men. My mother was melodramatic about everything. Fled New York from a mafia war. PTSD from the wars. 129 IQ. MS in math. Master of Excel and logistics. No GF. Wife. No kids. Yeah, so see, he had a troubled past. There you go. He fled from a mafia war. There you go. It is true, though. We started this community of trolls. Like, I mean, that's why we let it go. Listen, we can just stop the, the live alerts. We can stop all that shit, you know? But it's part of the fucking show. You know, the trolling is part. And it's a we, part of the show. Last night it killed me because we could barely read the chat. We had so much going on here. It was driving me nuts. We couldn't interact with you guys. I love it. You know, I love the, the interaction with the live chat. That's why we started this thing. I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't give a shit. The manimal was interacting with them. Yeah, we threw him a computer so he can do it. Yeah. But um, it, we, you know, there's sometimes when we can't, you know, get in there as much. But, um... So there you go. We got the backstory on Real Real. I'm not surprised though. I mean, are you ever going to settle down? Or are you looking for a Mrs. Wright? Or are you just, nah, single man? I mean, listen, you're a single guy. It's, it's not the worst thing in the world, right? If you're a single guy. Because you can come and go as you please. There are certain guys out there that just want to come and go as they please. They don't want to answer to anybody. you know. And then there are people like me who is not like that. Like I like to come and go as I please, but I like a relationship. I'm I'm a sucker for a relationship, so I don't I like um uh, I like a, a nice supper made for me. I like uh my my blanket soul. Well you can't have your cake me. and eat it too. You either come and go as you please or you have a relationship. You can't have both. Well I never said you could. But you said you like to come and go as you please and you like a relationship. I said I liked to come and go as I pleased, but I like now I'm different now. I'm I'm forty two now. It's a whole different ball game. If you're talking to like twenty three year old Chris, it's a different thing. It's a whole different thing. I, I wasn't really built for a relationship then. As much as I liked the idea of it, I wasn't built for it then. Now I'm a whole different ballgame. I don't give a fuck. Like, I just... I just like what I do. I like being in a relationship, and that's that. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Uh, it's Kevin from Chicago. You may call me a women-hating short nerd that brags about non-existent experience and say I have zero proof of my accolade state champ. To that I say... I would take real real in my mouth while <laughs> Colby drills my anus. <laughs> oh, God, it's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I love. It's, like, it's kind of like layups. Like you just throw the ball up in the air and they fucking slam dunk it. <laughs> I mean, you don't get that anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what, too? I don't like to, to read it before. I like the girl to say it to surprise me. <laughs> oh, it's so great. You can't stop the Siberian That was great. What Choose a donation. <laughs> I hate Kevin. I wish Kevin from Chicago would run into traffic. <laughs> That's horrible. Holy shit, they're fucking... Well, I, I wouldn't go that far. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we don't want you to bust die. balls, but don't don't wish death on someone. That's nah. that's kind of horrible. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh fuck, this is the best. What a community. Oh man, 
the incessant bull busting. I think I liked this so much is because this is the relationship I had with my friends. Like it was brutal, man. We would go hard on each other. So the fact that we can do this with like a hundred people doing it, it's great. And, and and at the end of the day, as much as we, I mean, maybe some people are taking it serious. I don't know. But at the end of the day, the fact that we can laugh it off, it's fucking great. Can you have my temples, Moss? Yeah, hold on. What do you got? Is that working? Yes. Ow, too hard, Moss. How does that feel? Is the is it alleviating the pain? Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. That's a man right there. That's what a real man does. Okay. You rub them temples. Thank you. Like a real goddamn celebrity. Wonderful, wonderful. You gotta treat your lady right. <laughs> That actually worked. <clears throat> All right. Very good job, Moss. So, BBC for the win. Mo DeReese gets it done. Wonderful. Puts a little excitement into PFL for us. So, congratulations. He gets uh, his win, and we move on to the next fight. All right. Maxim Grishin versus Mikhail Maknatkin. 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 Right? Maknatkin. Mock napkin. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo choo, motherfuckers. All right. Let's see Real Real's got. I can't have kids because legally children can't be raised by men who think Hitler did nothing wrong. Oh, it's <laughs> against the law. Thank you for the donation. Watch this commercial. Look at his face. <laughs> you missed the commercial again. It's if funny. You saw it from the beginning. It's funny. Yeah. I. I am. I had a friend that uh, my buddy Anthony. He <laughs> loves commercials. He watches commercials more than he watches actual the actual thing he's supposed to be watching. I um. I'm not like that. I I, I don't find commercials it's funny. funny. Yeah, I don't. I don't get them. Like they're just like they're there. I feel commercials are bathroom breaks, and you know, you kind of you're into it though. You like yeah, it? I don't mind commercials. They're like little mini stories. Yeah. I don't have the patience to sit through a whole movie, but I have the patience to sit through commercials. Because like a commercial, a good one can happen. And it's like, I get it. I got, it got to the point like that. Kept my attention. You know, if it's funny, if it's sad, if it's whatever. You got an emotion out of me. Boom. Commercial. And then I could get up in like 30 seconds and walk away. And not worry about missing anything. You know? It's great. Commercials are the best. Some people do prefer, like like I said, my buddy Anthony. He, he loves commercials. He wa he's When commercials are on, he's like... And then when the show's on, he's just like looking around and the show is over. <laughs> uh, and like, it's, like no a bunch, it's like a bunch of mini the stories. The mouth open. Commercials come on for me. Boom. Instant off. Off button. Like I'm not even there. You can't yeah, even. I don't have the attention span for movies and TV, but I have the attention span for yeah, a commercial. Can't do it. <laughs> uh, not yet, PBR. Nah. We decided we were going to finish off the double black and, and some of the other stuff we had in the house first before we went and purchased more, but we will. Maybe for like the next Fight Buddies or something, we'll go try. I wanted to try the Ardbeg one because you said that, that was the smokiest one. Yeah, we got to we gotta do that. So you want to do it for this weekend, for this yeah, Saturday? Yeah, I don't see why not. We'll, di we'll dabble into the, uh, something new. I want Ardbeg. Uh, we were watching Joe Rogan today. He has a little table full of all sorts of different kinds. So like you can just choose whichever one you want that night. Joe Rogan's got he's got it going on, man. Like his podcast, his table's a mess. There's shit all over it. He just sits there. He just shows up. He's got a producer. You want a drink? Some fucking schlep comes out and brings out the drinks. No, that you was his smoke? producer. Oh, is that his producer? It doesn't matter. Yeah, like someone else is doing it. You know, I need that. I need someone to walk around and give me shit. Like uh, Johnny, could you just pass over some scotch over here? And he drinks, he drinks it on the rocks. Well, you don't do that. Yeah, and I, I saw them drinking on the rocks, and I was like, ah. him and Shab were drinking whiskey on the rocks. Blech. No, you don't do that. No, no. I was like, no, no, no. And it wasn't just on the rocks. It was like on a fucking mountain of rocks. Yeah, like, they wanted to dilute the shit out of that whiskey. They wanted no business with that. But um, yeah, I mean, I need that. I know, right? We need that. We need to go to a place, and also you can face your guests. Like we had the poor animal behind us. Like, Jesse was like, fuck it. I'm just going to turn around. You can see the back of my head the whole time. I couldn't do that. <laughs> you know, but uh, you like to look what? your guests in the eye. What? You're like, fuck it. <laughs> His legs are spread on the couch. I got I to gotta look this no, way. No, I, I just feel when you talk to someone, you should make eye contact. That's the respectful thing to I do. I think that too, but my brain is show first, etiquette I was, less. I was show first, but, you know, we had a guest. And when you have a guest, you want to be respectful nah, when you're care. talking to them. Like... 
it's just a respectful thing to do. When someone's talking to you, you make eye contact. Well, the next studio, we will have a setup where we will have multiple cameras, a wide angle where we could look at our fucking guest. <laughs> Who the hell designed this? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy's in the, he's like in timeout behind us. We have like a superstar <laughs> sitting all the way back there, all blurred out. All right, tell the tape. Uh, 35 is Grishin, 29 is Mikhail. Mikhail? Uh, six foot three Grishin, six foot two Mikhail, both 206 pounds. Says 76 inch reach for Grishin with a one inch reach advantage at 77 inches for Mikhail. 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 You gotta say it like like an angry Russian. Like, Mikhail. 29, seven, and one. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna call him. So, Maxim versus Mikhail. Mikhail. No, Mikhail. Poor Mikhail is on a two fight losing streak, huh? Mikhail. Aww, super chat. It's Drunk Savage. You need KFC to be er pig vomit like Stern had. Oh, yeah. That's what I need. Pig vomit. Yell at him, scream at him. I need someone to yell at. It's funny, Jackson Black says you guys should hire some interns. We're actually looking into that. We have a job. Actually, I think the time is up now for, I think, like, the application's still open, but I think that they're already going through them. But uh, we were thinking about hiring some interns down the road for, like, the show and things like that. Yeah, check out the website. There might be something that, you know, if you guys are looking, you have free time or something like that, you want to make a couple extra bucks. We have um, a section on the website that might be a little helpful for you. But, yeah, I mean, I would like to do interns, but I, I don't know. Slaves would be better, right? We, well, isn't that what an intern is? They're unpaid jobs. I don't think it, What's the deal with interns now, though? Isn't it in New York? Yeah, I read somewhere that in New York it's illegal now. No, it's just slavery. Just All right, fight has begun. Real Real has donated. From 1866 to 1965, thousand black men were lynched in the USA. In the last 10 years, 5,000 black men have died in Chicago, Baltimore, New York, LA, and any other Democrat run shithole city. And you'll want to act like white supremacy is a problem? What is Dumb coons. Man, what is it? Uh, I don't know. I just zoned out. What do we. I, I don't care. <laughs> no one cares. Stop, no, I, it was such a waste of two bucks. Like, you, you could do so much better with the two. Like, that's two hard work earned dollars there. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it, but. We're not even paying. We like as soon as it starts. As we're just zoning out. Did anyone? Did anyone listen to that donation? <laughs> oh shit! A knockout. Oh, I missed it. M G. That I goddamn missed donation. It. Holy shit! The first round gets it done. Twenty nine seven and one. Now he's thirty seven and one. super. Maxim chat. Grishin gets the win. Super chat coming in. Spirit fingers Holy for shit. the win. <laughs> Jesse, you want to do it? Want to do it? Well, what do you guys say? Maxim Christian! Wonderful, wonderful. That felt good. All right, so two, we have two eggplant rises. I said four, Jesse. So you said what, three? So you need one more uh, finish. Did I say three? I can't remember. Yeah, I think you said three and I said four. Uh, so I'm about to take it. I'm going to take a W here. So Grisham. A W? Yeah, Grisham gets the win, gets four. to finish the first round. Yeah, I'm getting my four finishes. Super chat. A cumin. A cumin. I want the JBH when you pass on, most. I want the JPH when you pass on. <laughs> now I'll play it again. All right. That's a little morbid, but okay, sure. The JBH. Because I'm <laughs> the not JBH. Him. She's like the Batman. I want the Batman. <laughs> it just got really creepy for a second here. All right. Thank you for the donation. Let's do this. Okay. I'm going to, you'll be auctioned off after my, my death. I bet you didn't. I don't, ain't nobody got time for that. I gotta figure out how Jesse. I gotta figure out how the fuck I'm gonna keep this show running running if that ever happens. No man. What would I do? What is what are we really having this conversation? Yeah, that's a good question. Like what 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 would you want me to do? I would want you to keep the party going. But how? By myself. This is a two man job. It's not a two man job. I did it for uh, what? Yeah, a year you, and a half? A year and a half before it got much bigger and became a two man job. You you have to agree this is a two man job. 
I would. There's no way I'd be able to do it by myself. Yeah, but the show itself you could do by yourself. It's all the extracurricular activities. The other outside. work. Yeah, that's off difficult. Screen. That's difficult to do. But this show could be done by yourself for sure. It's just not going to be the same. No. I am the heart and soul. So, <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <laughs> one, one. I'm the old heart and soul. Yeah. No, it could be done. It could be done. Nah, with one I think it's sure. shit. It would be. I different. would rather just like archive it and make it like a shrine of moss. You know. You couldn't listen to Howard without Rob, and it's not the same. You couldn't if Robin did the show without Howard. It's not the same. It's just you need exactly. the combination. But so shrine it. What I'm saying is this: there's gonna come a time where we're gonna be too old to do. Well, I'm definitely gonna be too old to do this. And honestly, you're probably gonna be too sick of doing this. And there'll probably be probably be. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Two other hosts doing this, or maybe like three other hosts. Passing it on to yeah, that's the plan, man. Yeah, I know, like turning it into machine stuff, but it's just something that, like, that's you hand down the torch, to think about. you give it to someone else. The, the MMA holes will be around forever. This community will be around forever because you're going to pass it down to your generation and the next generation. And there's going to be new hosts. There's going to be a, a new style, a new swag, a new team. But yeah, that's how it's going to work. Hmm. It's the MMA holes. It's not. The Mystic Show. It's not the JBH show. It's the MMA holes. Yeah. And where is the show? It's right in there. It's inside there. The people that are chatting each and every week. Kevin from Chicago jerking off in the corner. The donations <laughs> coming out. That's the show. That's how it works. So don't worry. Never worry. Hmm. The show always goes on. As long as this raccoon penis is in the hand of the host. <laughs> That's the, show the torch. Goes on. I thought the torch this gives was us it. our power. I thought, I thought, this is the first thing we put in the animal's hand, by the way. I thought this was the torch. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So now my question is this: As we just witnessed two, uh, three fights. This is three, right? Unless I check three fingers for three. Um, the question is this: How many people, out of the hundred people watching right now, how many people are here for the long haul? Let us know in the chat right now. The Godfather says the next hosts will be soy drinking cucks. Oh. Preferably not. I hope, I hope they're funny soy drinking cucks. <laughs> Jackson Black says, love the show, but don't like the dildo on Moss's chest. What? Oh, the little eggplant at the bottom. It's not a... Guys, my father thought this was a penis too. This is, a, this is an eggplant, guys. I don't know where your mind is. It's a throbbing eggplant. And this eggplant, a little fun trivia, why is... Duck, Jesse! Duck! <laughs> why is the eggplant here, Jesse? So to the people, there are new people that probably because like, we used to have a UFC graphic there, and then the UFC acted like a bunch of cunts, and so we replaced it. Yes, so that's why that's here. So basically, this is a middle finger to the UFC. It's a big, hard, rock hard eggplant to the UFC, and it's gonna stay there. So deal with it. All right, back to the chat. Kelly Miller says, "I'm gonna stay unless I make too many enemies." LOL. Well, <laughs> staying in that chat at some point, everybody makes about ten or twenty enemies. <laughs> Enemies are good. Uh, and he says, I am here for the long haul and I would be intern for no pay. True Grit says, dude, you could just Google what Stern said about his parents. Kainoto, this is a good night for GIFs. Now Flanagan says, seven. The Ian Love experience says, Jemaya, Jemaya, kiss my kosher ass. Whoa. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Uh, racial facts trigger Moss. Dahlia DiPolito, Google that. She plotted to kill the man she suggests to marry from day one. Very creepy story. I'm here for the long haul as long as it never goes censorship mainstream like a Jew. Then the era of MMA whole free speech zone is over. <laughs> All right, let me put it to you this way, guys and gals. And thank you for that donation. How many of our big donators have left? All right, put it to you that way. Like, there are some people I've been around, around for a while. There have been some hardcore donators and... Yeah, I mean, they've been in and out, you they've, know? They, there have been some super supportive people that, listen, if we wanted to, we could have went in the direction of what made those people happy and compromised the show. Unfor it's unfortunate that certain people couldn't hang around a little bit longer that really supported the show that, that donated heavily. You know, there were people that, like, bombshell donators that we couldn't make happy because we didn't want to compromise this troll, crazy, ridiculous atmosphere over Exactly. Here. So if you think about that, I, I could name three right off the top of my head that were huge donators to us. Um, if you think about that, you know, the integrity of this show is going to stay. And if you don't like this style of fuckery, then it's not your place. It really isn't. And some people think it is and then learn after a while. It's like, wow, I don't like this. And they leave. So we're not folding. That's not how this works. 
We're not changing. We have two fucking half naked girls on our website for God's sakes. We want to get, we want to get sponsored. And then you look at our fucking website. Where's our website? Why is it not on here? Why is it not over here? How is it? How dare it not be queued up? See, this is where I would yell at my producer. <laughs> we we have like like you go over to our website, the greatest website in the world, dmaholes.com. By the way, people were complaining. Oh well, well, we're live here too. If you want to see that, there we are. But we have a live chat over here, and this is pretty funny, Jesse. Look at that little uh, Metallica. I trick, saw that earlier. Little silliness. But if you go over here, you go to the hottest holes, and make sure you get your votes in. Like if we were really serious about like making some cash, we wouldn't have this. You know, half naked girls over here. By the way, who's winning this? Mackenzie uh, still in the lead. Yeah. So listen, it is what it is. This is a, a ridiculous community. We're here to have fun, and um, we're not about that censorship shit. Okay. Censor shite. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So they're showing the Nicholson fight. We didn't get to see this. What did he do here? Hits him with the right. Ooh, dropped him with the right. Knocked him out. It's that new girlfriend putting that that oomph back in his spirit. <laughs> He got rid of Hannah Goldie and now he's a winner again? Well, if you think about it, when he was with Goldie, he was losing, right? Now he's got a new girlfriend and all of a sudden he gets a knockout. He is a big-ass heavyweight. All right, so, <laughs> so I'm just watching uh, what's going on here. All right, who's next here? Who, who do we, did I put the right one on? I'm all over the place. What's the next fight? This one here? Wonderful. So we got Asaev versus... Uh, Seaman Tufa? Seaman uh, Tufa? Seaman so Tufa. I wanted him to lose because his name is annoying. Carl. How's his first name Carl? And then it's like Seaman Tufa. Like, Jesus Christ. Well, at least they named him Carl. It makes it a little easier. Oh, Carl. Carl. So Carl versus Ali is the next one. How does this work, though? 13 10 0 versus a 5 0. And I, the matchups are strictly, they're so bizarre. You got guys with so many fights, and then you got a guy that's five and zero. The five and zero guy is thirty five years old. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo -choo the cray cray. Fight. True grit with the two. Make me happy by organizing amateur fights between real, real Kev, Lev, etc. That would be fun to watch. That would be fun. Uh, listen, in the beginning of the show, we have connections. We if if you guys are serious, we can put together f MMA whole fights. But you know how many fucking people bailed out on us? Like, we were legit about to let it drop, and we were going to do it. We, we had promotions that were willing, willing to host it, and people just flaked on us. Everyone talks a big game, and then the minute you, like, know the ball's moving forward, and um, they're like, they're out. If you guys, if there are anyone in the chat that wants to fucking throw hands and can get a gym to back you, that's the, per that's the important thing. You need a gym to back you. Um, then hit us up. Hit us up. Like Kevin from Chicago with all these. Dude, if you want to fight, we can get you a fight. Pick a guy in the chat and we can make it happen. It's crazy. It, it is absolutely unbelievable. 35 versus 36. Uh, Carl is 36. Uh, let's see. 6'3 is Ali. 6'1 Carl. 263 versus 265. Carl. 81 inch reach versus a 78 inch reach. Ali Asaev. Uh, let's see, let's see. Bum fights, but with fixed abodes. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo-choo, motherfucker. <laughs> Boss triggered by racial facts is back. I wasn't say you guys did cave. So far, you guys have stuck to your guns. Now look bigger, better than ever for it. Apologizing and changing now would be the biggest coon out and would ruin the brand. <laughs> Next thing you know, Ian Kidd would be co-hosting. Uh, thank you. Boss triggered by racial facts. Um, yeah, I get, I get yelled out, uh, yelled out on a regular. I mean, like people have told me to, um, to change certain things, you know, the name itself, I was told to change the fucking name, but, um, we stuck to our guns and I feel this, I feel if we stay true, a lot of people were pissed off that I brought a girl into the show. Like some of the OGs were like, Oh my God, you got a female on the show. You sold out. You're such a simp and this and that. I think she brings a hell of a lot more to the show than it was just me. Nah. Yeah. Nah. I do. Seriously, it's way more deep, and, and now people can have another opinion. People can, you know. You know what it was? A lot of women pretend to like a certain sport just to kind of, like, fit no, I, in. It doesn't matter about you liking the sport. It's about people but, hating women. No, I think, that's, I think that, that's what it was. And I think a, another contributing factor was that people are like, ah, oh, it's a woman. She has no idea what she's talking about, you know? 
And it's not until after they watch for a little while that they're like, all right, this is tolerable. Some people still people hate me. People hate women, period. Yeah. You just fall under that umbrella of being a, a person with a vagina. I'm blessed. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Acai versus Sima Natufa. Sima Natufa. Sima Natufa has an interesting hairdo. Which, should I do that, Jesse? Look at it. It's got like a big poof yes. on the back, like a triangle fro poof on the back of his head. I'll do that hairdo. <laughs> Keep it long, though. Oh, Let's by the way, we, we were watching the uh, reaction to the animal. So he fought on Bellator 222, the Roy McDonald one, yeah. the MSG. Watch our reaction to it. All we're doing is making Italian jokes the whole, to- the whole time while he's fighting. We were watching that before he came over. I, f- I completely forgot that we reacted to his fight. My memory is shot. So Acai versus Simana Tufa. Simana Tufa with the blue. Acai with the red gloves. We've seen, uh, what, two finishes already? We got mini Brock Lesnar as the ref. Nice spinning kick by S.C. Eve. So these guys aren't getting any younger. Both in their, what, mid-30s? 35 went up. Uh, 29 for C. Manatufa. Different on topology. I thought they said 30-something on here. C. Manatufa. Is this guy Hawaiian? Where is he from? El Nino Training Center. El, El Nino. My child. Son. El Nino. Simona Tufa and Asai are in the middle of the cage right now, tapping jeb fists, waiting for the moment to unleash. And there it is. Asai throws a right, goes for the takedown against the fence, single leg. Simona Tufa going for the neck. And on his way down, attacking the neck. Asai tries to go to a side control. With his head still wrapped around by C. Manatufa. C. Manatufa is trapping the left leg as well. So he has, it uh, looks like the head's going to slip out of the, that big grasp. But damn, that's a big ass arm. His arm's too big for the neck. C. Manatufa's arm is, uh, it's like a tree trunk. <laughs> and tree trunk. I see if he's trying to slip out. C. Manatufa's still holding on. I don't know how much more longer uh, Simon Tufa can hold on to this as Asaev is trying to peel the fingers apart. Size is a is irrelevant to a true martial artist. Have to bring up boxers from a hundred years ago. Says it all. Talking about a little boxing in the chat. There it is. Slips out. Asai with the hammer fist. Oh, shit. Slips his head out and goes ham on him. Ground and pound. Asai looking for that finish. Trying to get those extra points here. More rights coming down. Holy shit. Asai is 5-0. and oh, Looking to go 6-0. and oh. oh, my God. Those rights. His head was bobbing. Man, oh, man. Once he slipped that. Uh, you got Oh, here's the mount by Asai Eve. Simon Atufa. Must have burnt out his arm. Oh, boy. Going for the choke, Asai. Trying to wrap up that head and arm. Oh, man. This is going to be it. Oh. Simon Tufa gives a thumbs up. He's like, I like this. So Asai on the side. Trying to solidify this choke here. Dropping some rights in the side of the head. Oh, my God. That can't be comfortable. Smelling the armpit is Simon Atufa. Asai landing some more rights. So uh, some damage here in the first round by Asai Asai is trying to trap the left arm of Simon Atufa. Not really choking, just giving him some rights. Asai switches the script. Tries to get a little comfortable. I don't think he can do elbows, right? Not in this stage of the game. This would be a perfect time for it, but no, you can't. So side control for Asai. He's trying to just land some more lefts and rights here. Get nice and cozy. Simon Atuf is holding on for dear life as he has five seconds left to get out of this, and it looks like he will. But, whoo, domination. Yeah, I don't know how to say his name. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? How is it pronounced? Yeah, tell me how it's pronounced. Instead of saying you can't even pronounce it properly. 
why don't you just pr- tell us how it's pronounced phonetically spell it out yeah please I mean, isn't that correct us <laughs> like i could use the jesus correction. christ I can't. I can't. Kathy Ho. Sometimes. Kathy Ho subscribes. Kathy. 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 Kathy Ho. Kathy Ho. Ho ho ho. Kathy Ho. Ho 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 ho. Kathy Ho. Who's Kathy Ho? I don't know, but she subscribed. You seemed very excited when you saw it. It's Kathy you must ho. know Kathy Ho. Who's Kathy Ho? That's my hoe, Kathy. Jesus, I can't sing about Kathy O. He was, did you guys see how excited he was? If that Kathy was, was like, oh, Kathy! If I was Ke- if it was Kevin Ho, you would have been like, huh, oh, that's fine, but it's a woman. Huh? Oh, did you fuck her? No, I would have asked you also, because you're pretty... Uh, yeah, you saw it, right, Joey Faggotter? He, he seemed a little excited there. Well, not many people subscribe to his channel. <laughs> so I get excited. I'm sorry. Mm. It's getting weird. I don't know what's going on with Jesse, but she's... Oh, boy. Here we go. Second round. Isn't it weird how women's minds go there? Like if you celebrate that a woman subscribed, a woman goes, are you fucking them? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just, no, you it's just not, smile you, at that girl over not, there? It's not, are you fucking yeah. them? It's, are you going to fuck no, them? No, it's like, did you just smile at that girl over there? Yeah, she smiled at me. You're not allowed to smile at that girl. Why would you smile back? What? If she smiled at you, you would just like randomly smile back at her? Yes. You Why freaking would- weirdo. Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm the weirdo. If you smiled at a guy, I, would I wouldn't be like, who are you smiling at? Uh, first of all, I wouldn't just randomly smile at some random guy. If if someone was walking in your general direction, right, and they smile at you, you don't smile back? Not really, no. Cold-hearted bitch over here. Yeah, old girls, I know. It's crazy. The girls, are they're way different than guys. Guys don't give a fuck. It's like, who cares? Smile at them. I care. So, Jesus. I see Eve gets the takedown again. And Jesse's she's, she's controlling, very controlling with that pimp hand. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's cheating. <laughs> He's cheating, Jesse. Call me. <laughs> Could you imagine if I did cheat? I mean, she'd probably lop my head off. No, I'd leave you instantly. I don't have time for it. If you decide to cheat, then you weren't worth spending my time with anyway. So I'll just bounce. I don't think you're like one of them, though. I think you're all talk. I think you're, you're, your bark is bigger you, than your bite. You really don't know me that well, then. I would fucking bounce. If I found out that you were cheating on me, have I'd Have you ever stayed bounce. with a cheater? No. We can go there if you want to. <laughs> I just asked you a question. I've never stayed with the cheater. I just asked you a question. All right, so Asif has the control on the ground. Man, you get why do you get so like you get so fired up, man? Well, it's something <laughs> I take seriously. <laughs> why? You're on the MMA holes. Nothing is taken seriously here. Mm. One day you'll learn, young Jedi. You'll learn. Some rights coming down by Asaif and T minus five minutes before the donations come in, triggering Jesse some more. <laughs> I'm waiting for the Kathy Ho donation. <laughs> that's, a, that's what I'm waiting for. Hi, this is Kathy Ho. Uh, Jesse is completely right. Chris is cheating with me. Like, I'm waiting for that donation. It's just a little. The, it's the not taking. gonna bother me. I, it was just the <laughs> excitement that you had when you subscribed. I'm waiting for. Come on, someone chime in with it. All right, so they're back up to the feet. As. C Manitufa, because I don't know how to say his name. That's so, so Manitufa. Oh, maybe it is so. So Manitufa. So Manitufa. I could be so Manitufa. Oh, so so Manutafa, not Tufa, Tafa. Manutafa. So Manutafa. So Manutafa. Yeah, I guess that does sound right. All right, is that right? So Manutafa. Uh, ha, ha, ha. All right, so here they are on the feet in the second round. Leg kick by So Manutafa. Asaif gets back up from that kick. Asaif looking tired here in a second. My man's, oh, kick to the ribs. Americano gets pushed back to the fence, though. Asaif with the underhook. Big boys are getting tired here. Asaif trying to level change. So Manutafa <laughs> is uh, trying to fight him off here as Asaif is going for the single. There it is. Drags him down. So we got 112 left. So Manutafa has an Asaiv grinding on him. Humping and grinding. Some knees. Oh, man. Those guys suck. The knees to the hips. So Manutafa gets back up. 
Those can't feel good, right? Knees to the hips. They suck. Knees to the body, boss Eve. Well, this fight is taking a turn for the worse. A lot of grinding against the fence here. Some knees by Asaev. Asaev was tired and looked like he just wanted to get it against the fence. And throw all that weight. So Monotop is just kind of looking over to the side. Waiting for his moment to do something here. 30 seconds left. And this thing is going to go to a third for Shizzle. 60% of landlords spy on tenants with hidden cameras. Let that sink in. Really? I'm not surprised. I knew an old guy that um, I had an ex-girlfriend. He fucking put, he planted a camera in the shower. He's fucking creep. Was letting her live there. And, um, man, put a camera in the fucking shower. And I remember I watched the video. I remember I dragged her out of there, almost killed the guy. And I watched the video, and then I was hysterical laughing because I, I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, I couldn't believe it. It's fucking sickos, man. What's that, Josie? Is that is that a camera? I don't know, Moss. What you don't it? like my old stories. Huh? You no. don't like stories? I don't like hearing stories about you. Why? Like, because I can't tell stories now? No, you can tell stories. I don't stop you. It's so... I can't tell stories? I've never stopped you. Yeah? That's a good story, though. I can go into detail. It's crazy. No. Nah. Fucking crazy story. You don't like... I can't have a past. I, I don't I, I don't, can't. I don't really care. It's like I didn't... 42 years on this earth. Nah, you're not allowed to tell stories. I don't like Any other past. host... Any other host on the show could tell stories, but not this guy. Mm. All, all that good content that well, I can throw out here. I eh. feel like I've heard enough of your past to like... But I just not want to hear it. In, what's horrible know, about... Like, what did I do wrong in that story? I no, did nothing. you didn't I almost do killed anything, the guy. anything wrong in that story. Well, I yeah. don't, it doesn't matter to me. I didn't stop you. Jeez. Can not Why tell stories. Why are you attacking me? I didn't I don't know. I'm not allowed to tell stories. I didn't say that. I'm a God, host. I didn't even say that. You're getting all <laughs> sensitive for no reason. Oh my God. What's going on here? Teeth on the floor? Is that blood? Water. That, that's red water? Yeah. <laughs> that, that new style of water? Red water? All right, here we go. Round number three. Let's do this. This is your show. Uh, put up a female in our, put a female in our place. Cam would let me tell stories. I didn't even do anything. I didn't even say you couldn't tell stories. All right, I'm kidding now. It's, now it's now it's you're become, annoying. Sheesh. Now you make me want to punch you in the tit. That story was annoying, apparently. Ooh, head kick by Asaev. And Samonu Tufa laughs it off. Sulmana Tufa tries to go for the leg kick again here in the third round. This is I feel like it's in slow motion watching these guys. These big boys are kind of standing there. So Monatouf is walking slowly forward and a leg to the body by Asaev. It's like a bathroom break fight, you know? You get up, get your popcorn, your beer. Thinking of heating up some sausage and peppers. Heat up with some sausage and peppers. <laughs> Not much going on here. Spinning back kick to the right forearm of Sumana Tufa. So Tufa still inching forward here. Asaev loads up with a right. Manutafa. Who cares? Do we really I'm care? Just saying. The, uh, we don't care about this guy. No one cares about him. <sighs> I mean, after this fight, after after seeing this haircut, I don't know what that is on the back of his head. Maybe it's like a cultural thing. To have a big like patch on your head. Oh shit! Nice leg kick by So Manutafa. Tava. Uh, you guys ever watch Big Chuck? No, who is that? Uh, Sumana Tafa nearly stopped Mat Mitrione. How long ago was that? Let's see. PFL before this. King of the Cage, Bellator. So he was in Bellator. Let's scroll through his past over here. This, wonderful, wonderful. this is probably more exciting. He's a lot thinner here in this picture. Let's scroll through. Where's Manny Mitrione? This was right here. Took the L. Lost by punches in the first round, 2016. So this guy has fought, he's another journeyman. You know, he's, he's fought in Bellator, all different promotions, trying to get the Millie. He's in the third round. I do believe he's losing two rounds, though, to Zip. Against Ali Asaev. But you never know. You got heavyweights there, you never know. One punch could change everything. But... 
the way this is going, Jesse. Yo. With limited things. Oh, shit. I almost ate my words. The spinning kick to the head, Asaev. So Monotafa ate a good one there. But he seems to be fine. Asaev's corner is being shown. They're yelling and screaming. So he had those two fights in a row with nice finishes. And over here, we settled in for a decision. Unless we get some big something big in this under two minutes left of his third round. Even the ref's looking over at the clock. He's bored, right? Then he Brock. Leg kick by Asaev. How many more fights are left? This is Drunk Savage. Uh, what do we got? We got three more. Three more fights left One. on this card. Oh, Asaev drives through against the fence going for the takedown. Three more fights. Get that sausage and pepper, Jesse. Make it happen. You not digging this? Not a good fight, huh? No, I'm digging it. That was a I'm digging it like a... Like a... Digging it like a ditch? Like a... You know. Digging it like a... Ditch would be the only thing I can think of. So they are down to the ground now as Asaev is trying to keep him here at the end of this fight. Oh, Kimura. Sumanatafa. This is the move you were going for, Jesse. Look at this. What it's is he Kimura. doing wrong here? What is he doing wrong, Jesse? Sumanatafa. Uh, Asaev's arm is too far tucked under his belly. It yeah. needs to be further out so that you can grab your wrist and push it back. And you should pull him into a guard too, Behind right? Or something like that? Well, yeah, it's, you're supposed to be in a guard with your hips to the side, locked around his side. See, look at that. Yeah. One lesson, JBH knows. JBH knows. Oh, here, over here, Sumanatafa, he's got the left leg over, and he's really cranking now. With 15 seconds left, Asaev is holding his hands together. He does not want that thing bent in the other direction. Sumanatafa is tugging at it. Can he get it? Oh, Sumanatafa is bucking from the bottom, really trying to go for this arm. And, oh, not enough. That's it. Round over. Fight over. It's got to be Asaev. Asaev. Ali. It's got to get the win here, right? I would imagine. Wonderful. Isaev. I don't know. Who knows? No, that's how you do a submission. Good girl. See? Ian Love likes it. He loves it. I got one good gif, but I think uh, it's going to piss off, piss Mas off. It's impossible to piss me off, man. It really is. Like, you can... Put it on the uh, website. Like no, I know how to piss you off. He sent me an email, and yeah, she. If anyone knows how to piss me off, it's her. <laughs> he called me a fucking asshole earlier. Um. Yeah, well, <laughs> sometimes she acts her age, but um. Yeah. Uh, Kainoto sent uh, an email saying he didn't want to put it on the website. Oh, that was, but that was for you though. But it wasn't that bad. I don't think you would have gotten mad. What was it? It was uh, a couple weeks ago, but it wasn't bad. I showed you it, and you're like, ah, it's not funny. It What's was not wrong? bad. I can't remember what it was. But um, wait, Kainoto put it on there. Yeah, put it on the website. He it's put on a, a GIF. Yeah, I showed you a I've couple weeks ago. I've seen all of Kainoto's GIF. I know. I showed you. It was an email, and you and I said he didn't put it on the website because he said it might be a little too much. Remember? Oh, this is a couple I don't weeks think back. you showed me. I did show you, but you, listen, we know. I will know because I've seen all of Kainoto's GIFs. Yeah, well, if you saw it, you would be like, "Oh, that one." Oh. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't that bad. So put it on the yeah, put it on the website. Put a strike against your channel that will push uh, you off to the max. Yeah, well, I mean, if you attack, if you attack my business, that's that's kind of fucked up. But I mean, listen, they've said some pretty fucked up things here, and um, I'm on that CBD life. I'm on that CBD life. All right, oh, we haven't seen Cree in a while. What's up, Cree? What's up, Cree? Cree in the chat. My Slipknot buddy. So yeah, a lot of total strikes. And um, it's going to go in the Russian's way. Uh, this one's... Hold on. Let's see. Kainoto. I'm hearing that buzz again. What the fuck is doing that? I don't hear anything. Oh, it's driving me nuts. I don't hear anything. Uh, this one's for all you pimple-faced, pencil-necked geeks. All right. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, Kainoto dropped one on here on the MMAholes.com. And, oh, yeah, there I she goes. I've never seen this one. No, this is new. It's 27 minutes ago. Oh. There it is. Is Here's one? one. Here we go. A Night of Revelation. And what do we got here? Wow, he's he's working hard on these GIFs. 
This is kind of small. Let's see if we can zoom in. Oh, that was the Kevin from Chicago donation about how he would take one from Real Real in the mouth and the other from Colby in the ass. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Some giggling on the show. Uh, let's see. This is Moss reacting to a flurry of strikes while Real Real talked about MS-13s or 129 ms uh, gangbang members or something like that not having a GF something like that <laughs> completely ignoring real real <laughs> <laughs> yeah some donations come in at, at terrible timing yeah but they can't plan it they don't know so there you go go on the com and drop your stuff in let me see your gifs or gifs wherever you want to call it You guys got a good thing going on. Go Browns. Wonderful, wonderful. To skip. So we got a Browns. Man. I thought I had it bad as a Met fan, but Browns fans got it the worst. That's tough being a Browns fan. Oh, the Browns got uh, Beckham. That should be fun. Watch him run around. There's not a prototypical Jew. Most Jews are not even Jews. This kind of may have a crush on you, boss. <laughs> Listen, anything on the uh, MMAholes.com, I'm down. I'm down with it. <clears throat> the Browns got Mayfield. Baker is my boy. But the marathon stop taxis. Baker, the fuck? Browns will never be good. I, they're cursed, man. There's, there's some organizations that are straight up cursed. They're one of them. It's tough, man. They've had some seasons where it looks super promising, and then boom, they shit the bed. It's got to be tough. I, I got to give credit to, like, or Lions fans, Detroit Lions fans. I have family that are Lions fans, and... I don't know how the fuck they do it, but that's, that's a hardcore fan. You stick with your team no matter what. I have m more respect for those types of fans than the people that are like, oh, my team sucks, so now I'm going to be a Yankee fan or something like that. We get so much of that bullshit over here. People jump and ship. So stick with your team. When they win, or if they win, it'll be a glorious day. All right. Words of wisdom from the mystical one. Three fights left on this card. Rashid Yusupov versus Victor Nemkov the second. All right. So PFL. Uh, let's see. Gets the win. Unanimous decision. Lost in his PFL fight. Blah, blah, blah. Victor Nemkov. 29-7-0. Some serious time over here. Two wins in a row. PFL. And not sure where this is. But, okay. Here we go. Looks like this guy's a striker. Victor Nemkov. Well, let's, let's get it. We got Russia versus Russia in the next fight. Hopefully we see a little bit something better than the one that just passed. Right, Jasper? <laughs> I have to sneeze so bad. So sneeze. Fucking not on just not this way though. Sneeze that way. Please. Please. Pretty please. All right. Oh, these guys are in the cage already. They're rushing them out there now. Here we go. Nemkov. They are announcing. Nemkov. We got Nemkov. football fans? We got football, hockey, basketball, baseball. What do you got? Uh, let's see. Today was a shitty day for me. Thanks for being live. The MMA holes. Raul, I hope your day, well, I hope your night is better. Someone needs to blow up MSG. That building doesn't deserve to have two shit teams like the Rangers and Knicks play in it. Well, yeah, the Rangers... Yeah, they went to the uh, Stanley Cup not too long ago. But um, the Knicks, I am so glad I'm not a Knicks fan. That is fucking brutal. They are they are straight up cursed. The Rangers, they got some young studs. The Rangers will be all right. Give them a couple of years, they'll be back in business. But they do have shitty owners. All PLFL fighters look like if Turbo Graphics made a Mortal Kombat and knockoff game. <laughs> I could see that. Mortal Kombat. Tail of the tape. Wonderful, wonderful. 27 is Rashid, 32 for Victor, 6 foot 1 for both of them, both of them 206 pounds. Rashid with the 77 inch reach and a 1 inch reach advantage from Victor at 78 inches. Victor with the 41 inch leg reach, while Rashid has that 4 inch difference at 45 inches. All right, this is the next fight. Let's get it popping. Get a poppin'. The fact that the Rangers even have a professional team is amazing considering the mismanagement of the Knicks by Dolan. Yeah. 
The Dolan, this Dolan situation. Do you know about Dolan and the Knicks and the Rangers? I don't know anything about Rangers? hockey. No, Dolan owns the Rangers and Knicks. He's the guy, like anything that plays at MSG, he's a guy that thinks he's a magi- magician. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. A musician or a magician. Maybe he's a magician too. But um, he's not a magician with what he does with the teams. Um, and he does nothing but destroy these teams. Mm. And it's a, it's crazy because if, if you want tickets to a Ranger game, they are through the roof. The price is insane absolutely insane to go to you know a shitty product and then the knicks is just it's a you think new york city madison square garden the world's greatest arena right or most famous arena excuse me um and you have this shit ass basketball team Mm. like it doesn't make any sense and then you got the yankees in the bronx that play in this fucking shithole of a bronx area and they have a fucking stud you know organization it's crazy at least the Mets play in a shithole Corona, but they suck. So, well, not anymore. How about those Mets? Well, fucking don't man. jinx them. Mets going to fucking surprise everyone this year. All right, here we go. Yusupov versus Nemkov. First round of action. Russia versus Russia. Jesse, you ready? These guys are heavyweights? How big are these guys? Light heavies. Oh, okay. Light heavyweights. I just saw heavyweight. Okay. So Yusupov in the yellow trunks and Nemkov in the gray. Let's see some action here. The Ovs. The Battle of the Ovs. A kick to the body. Grazes Nemkov's midsection. Nemkov coming in with a combination. All miss. Both fighters missing. Who do you think is going to win this fight? What Av is going to win this fight? Uh, Nem- or Yusupov. Yusupov. Well, well, there you go. Yusupov gets taken down. Nemkov inside the guard. This is the first round. I got a mustache going in my nose again. Mustache hair in the nose. Real bearded men. Shout out to our sponsors. Promo code MMA hole. Gotcha. So uh, Nemkov is scooting Yusupov to the fence inside the guard. Standing up now. See if he could drop some action with the hands. Nemkov drops a right. Another right by Nemkov. Yusupov back up to the feet. So Yusupov gives him a little smirk and stands back up. Nice, tough action going on. In the locker room, what do we got going? Stretching? A little stretching going on back there? So now Yusupov on the attack. Nemkov throws a right, misses. A lot of missing. A lot of swinging and missing. Good footwork. People are dodging punches. But nothing's landing. There is a leg kick that lands by Nemkov. Hits the lead. Yusupov unfazed by this. As he's moving his head around and trying to get a little closer. But Nemkov is not making it easy for him. Nemkov hits him with the left. The Battle of Russians. I was thinking that too. Kelly Miller, it's uh, real as any. Cleanliness is not to the polls. <laughs> not big to the polls. <laughs> what do we got going on in that chat, Jesse? Anything good? Um. Oh. No? No? We're just chatting. Yeah. Yusuf Pop lands a nice right to the face. 205 left in the first round, and we're watching Yusupov versus Nemkov. We're just hanging out, guys and gals. Thank you for joining us as we're watching the PFL. It's on ESPN Plus. And um, interesting how they start on ESPN and then they move over to ESPN Plus. Trying to get people over to that app. Yusupov now coming forward. Nemkov tries to greet him with a leg kick. Yusupov missing with a right. Everything's missing. What's going on? Come on, guys. I I can't I can't kill him. I mean, no one wants to get punched, right? Or kicked. So good job avoiding each other. But there's a right coming in by Nemkov. Jesse's got the giggles. The Russian's gonna win. How many more fights? We got two after this. But man, oh man, after that last fight, now we're into this one here. Nothing spectacular. It looks like there's a 
little nod under the eye of Nemkov. <laughs> what happened? Jesus. What happened? I was, uh, I was like poking at my nail. Have you ever had something go right underneath your nail between the skin and the nail? Have you ever had that happen? Um, I'm sure I have. Why? My nail went right between the skin and the nail. <laughs> like, shit. Well, that is more ex- exciting than what's going on here. Nemkov goes over the top of the right, grazes the top of the head of Yusupov. A right does land there. I think Nemkov is landing more, though. You know, as these guys are... Oh, there's a nice kick to the body by Yusupov. So as I say, Nemkov is landing more. Yusupov lands a nice one. A body shot on the left by Yusupov. Yusupov getting comfy. Nemkov is showing more damage under that left eye. But we got a close round with 10 seconds left. Oh, a nice right coming in by Yusupov. And then an uppercut by Nemkov. We're turning up now. They hear that 10-second tap, and they're just like, let's go. So that's one round. Who did you give that round to? That's close. What did you say? Yusupov. Yusupov. I'm going to go Nemkov. I think Nemkov. Yusupov is 11-1-0. Nemkov 29-7-0. There is more damage on the face of Nemkov. But I got Yusupov. It is, boss. It is snotty. Snotty nose. He said your nose sounds snotty and it's kind of gross. No offense. (laughs) It is. I I woke up this morning. I had a swollen lymph node. And uh, I couldn't breathe. And I was like, fuck, it was the manimal. The manimal. I'm getting hungry again. Me too. You want, you want some sausage and peppers? We should do a sausage and pepper stream. We'll do that. How are you going to do a sausage and pepper I don't know. Stream? Well, like change it over? No, we'll do it now. Just give me some sausage and peppers. All right, I'll get back. <laughs> We're going to eat some sausage and peppers on air. Jesse made some. I like it on a nice hero, but we don't have any bread and it's probably better for me. But um, not like sausage and peppers is healthy, but just to go and get that sausage and pepper. You guys like the sausage? sausage? All right, here we go. Second round of the regular season. Now, this is the last regular season fight of 2019. And then in October, it starts back up on the playoffs. So we've seen some stoppages, only two. Actually, Jesse picked three stoppages. She might get it. Only two fights left here. Sausage and peppers. Small room. You had uh, secondhand smoke. Yeah, we did. It stunk in here last night. Circling around both fighters. Oh, my God. Come on, guys. It kind of lost its luster with the last two fights. But not really seeing much. These guys are just hesitating. Victor Nemkov won eight of his last ten fights. Pretty impressive with that 29-7-0 record. I heard Usman has been sidelined because of repetitive pink eye. Uh, there were some rumblings that Usman's got some knee problems. Um, like that, that are nagging him, that are still nagging him. I know he's recovering from his surgery. Hopefully he's going to be good to go. I don't want any of that. I'm not a doctor. Uh, phone lines will save the show. Measurement wise, Manimal kept uh, running his fingers through his toes, then handled the mic. I think Jesse has athlete's tonsils. <laughs> yeah, I did notice that. That was weird, right? I mean, he did he did like to play with his toes. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. That was an interesting. That's one thing he didn't give a fuck. I'll give him that. He yes, he he's like, who cares? But he was, he was, it's like how people fold their hands. He was intertwining his fingers with his toes. And I, I was looking, I was like, is he fucking playing with his toes? And he was, I watched on the replay. He, he, it's confirmed, but Hey, it's his thing, man. It's, he's the manual. <laughs> he was wiping the, <laughs> the microphone on his forehead. Oh man. Uzman is a uh, sideline for horrific trash talk. Yeah. He's not very good at that. He was licking his lips, and it's pretty bad. Although I am looking forward to the back and forth with him, him and Covington. The press conference is going to be so cringy. But I liked him in Uzma. I, I liked him in Woodley going back and forth. That was like the highlight. Him and they saved it. Like John Jones, he shit the bed. And Woodley and Uzma, were, they were going for it on the mic. 
So I think we're going to see some good stuff between Colby and Usman. I think that's going to be fun. So Nemkov gets that leg kick. He's the, the aggressor with 204 left in the second round. Two Russians competing. PFL action. He's putting his toe in the mouth. Yeah, this is a really boring. That? No, yeah. did he really? Okay, so what in his mouth? Yeah. Like in his mouth. Remember someone donated and he was like, uh, he said something. He's like, well, would you take this? And then he put his toe in his mouth. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Left a puddle of Bosley juice all over the couch. I think the consensus is they liked him though. I think. It seemed like we got pretty positive. Uh, I, I like him. I think he's a nice guy. It's a lot, though. It was funny this morning. Like, I felt like I, I had a hangover. Like, the, oh, nice right and a left coming in by Nemkov. It, is, it was like sensory overload. He's, he's full of energy. The dude is, is he's like on fire. Nice body shot by Nemkov. Lay kick by Nemkov. Nemkov looking pretty good this round. 105 left in it. Nemkov is waving his right arm around, throwing a left. A little Muhammad Ali action. A couple of jabs coming in. So Nemkov is keeping him away with the jab. And Yusupov having some trouble getting close. 45 seconds left. Body shot by Nemkov. Mike Perry going to win Saturday. That's a tough. That's tough, man. I want to pick Perry because I love I love his shtick. But um, he's got he's got a real tough fight. Was it Luke? That shit is going to be fucking... Wonderful, wonderful. It's a good... I think that's the one I'm looking forward to on this card. I mean, this card is, is, is shit, but it's free. Well, not really free, right? Was it on uh, ESPN Plus? So technically it's not. Yeah, it's on ESPN Plus, but it's not a pay-per-view, right? So, But Perry Luke is the fight. I mean... Oh, here we go. Takedown. Nemkov gets it with 10 seconds left. Nemkov trying to get some work done here. Five seconds left. Wrights coming in. Some hammer fists. And I'm going to say Nemkov is up two to zip. Oh, sausage and peppers, friends. Perry needs real coaches. He loves that that gym in Florida. Did you guys see um his anatomy of a fighter? That was awesome. The gym, it was a two-parter. Shout out to Will Harris. It was a two-part. Oh, you didn't get to see that, right? Perry on anatomy? No, I haven't He's seen it. He's done that. it a couple of times, but the one with the gym. I forgot the name of the gym. I thought it was good. It's a small gym. You know, they got some interesting fighters over there. But Cheers. I thought that was good. All right, I'll teach some sausage and peppers. No shame in my in my YouTube game. Three. All right. I was 16. Uh, not sh sharing show and tells. Jacques Ray. Yeah, that's right. Jacques Ray's there. They got some, they got some decent fighters over there. Hmm. Don't heat mm. into the mic. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's good. True Italian uh, meal. Yeah, no, we don't have any Italian bread. Last time we had Italian bread, but I forgot to pick some up, so no bread. It's probably like it's healthier for you. Fresh Italian bread. You put you drizzle this across the top. I don't know if you can see it. Sausage and peppers is a shit. Let me hear the pop of the sausage in your mouth. I'm trying. I'm trying to give it to you good. All right, so we're in the third round of action. This fight is sponsored by Sausage and Peppers. Mmm. <laughs> I'm good, Joey. Stop humming mm. when you eat. <laughs> Would it be weird if I ate it with my raccoon penis? Yes. As a fork? Yeah, I cooked it. So even though there's more damage on the face of Nemkov, I think he's up two to zip. Definitely the second round. The first round could be questionable. Nemkov has him against the fence. Grappled up. Trying to get a takedown here. Do any of you guys know who Tonkinsaw is? Tonkinsaw? No. Do it moss. Open mouth chew. Chew, chew, chew. Motherfla mother flower. What's the recipe for your sausage and peppers? You want to? You really want to know? Yeah, sausage and peppers. One yellow onion. Okay. Half of a red onion. All right. And you have to uh, sweet Italian sausage, and you cook the sausage in the pan first, and you brown it on both sides, and you take the sausage out of the pan, and you put the onion in the pan with all the sausage extras, 
yeah. then you cook the onion down with some garlic. Mm-hmm. And then you add three bell peppers, three large bell peppers, sliced. And then some Italian seasoning, so oregano, parsley, basil, all that. And then you cook that down. And then you add the sausage. Oh, you put a quarter cup of white wine. And you cook that in. And then you add the sausage back in after you slice the sausage up. You add it back in, stir it all up, and let it cook. And then it's done. Voila. Italian sausage and peppers. Simple. Right? Easy, easy to make. There you go. Make it for yourself. The, the key is the white wine, though, guys. The white wine is the key. He's probably about to take an L here. Oh, shit. Oh, I spoke too soon. Couple of lefts. Knocked Nemkov down. Nemkov is sprawling from off the mat. Yusupov, he heard my words. So now Yusupov is trying to get it in. Nemkov is keeping him away, grabbing the heel, trying to drag him into his guard. And now we have a Yusupov on top of Nemkov. Trouble for Nemkov. 150 left in the fight. Nemkov is holding on to Yusupov. Hmm. Now here's the question: If if he steals the round, it comes down to that set, that first round. Mm -hmm. That was really damn close. The Russians going at it. It cooks out. What's up, Big Griff? Yeah, the wine cooks out. I can't remember. I don't remember who said it. Someone said I don't like wine and food. It cooks out, so it gives it a little flavor, but it's uh, it, you won't really taste it. Jesse, is your enchilada game strong? Oh yeah. You know what's funny is I, I wanted to make some. I made some, but he's all into this healthy thing, so I had to replace it the tortillas with uh, zucchini, zucchini strips. It came out all right, but it just wasn't the same. But he he doesn't like eating cheese too much, so I can't really make it all that often. But my all my Mexican food game is strong. The males are the best. Yeah, I gotta say, Jesse actually she can cook pretty good. I'm surprised. I thought she was going to cook like shit, to be honest. Yeah, he asked me if I could cook. Usually when, when girls say they're good at something, they usually suck. But Jessie lied. She didn't lie. She was telling the truth. She can cook. It's amazing. Well, maybe just because I can't cook at all. Hmm. So maybe that's why I'm a horrific cook. So a lot of uh, swelling on that left eye of Nemkov. 15 seconds left. Still on the ground. Oh. Super I think chat. Yusupov just stole that round. Super chat. What's up, Big Love Griff? Love y'all's content. Thanks for the entertainment. Thank you, Big Griff. Yeah. Eat the sausage and peppers. Every sausage and peppers. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Griff. We love your support, man. What other show watches some fights and eats sausage and peppers, right? Not for fucking content. JBH dish or New York thing? This one? This is a JBH dish. Not a New York thing. Will it make me stop an escalator? We need people to stop escalators and post it on the MMAholes.com. I want to see if the the game, the escalator stoppage game is strong. Hmm. You want to record it next time I do it? This could um, be. It's but then be we pretty have, obvious he did it if I'm Then I can get arrested. It. Can I get arrested yeah. for that? Oh, okay. Because it is an offense. It's, isn't <sighs> it like vandalism or something? Like you're considered because you're... Yeah. I could get banned if, if it's seen. Hmm. We'll just do it places where we don't care if we don't, we're don't. we not allowed to come back. I don't um, like stopping a good escalator. The God or Kelly Miller says the Godfather, not one of my brothers can cook an egg without making a disgusting layer of egg plastic on the bottom. <laughs> Egg plastic? Yeah, you know when the egg overcooks? Mm -hmm. You can't get it off the pan? Uh, yep, that's part of, of what pan you're using, though. Or what you're using to grease the pan. A good scrambled egg, though. Nothing beats it. Uh, Moss never eats on mic. I feel tonight you should witness my chewing. The greatness of my chewing. 
I don't. I gotta say, it's gonna come down to the uh, the first round here because I think Yusupov got the third, Nemkov got the second, and we were split. I said Nemkov first, and you said Yusupov. So I'm curious how they scored us. What do you think in chat? Who won this uh, fight? As we wait for the decision. Ah, uh, we're still waiting. Use that country rock butter, and nothing will stick. Yeah, we country crock? Or country rock. Yeah, it's country crock. My mom used to use that all the time. But, uh... Yeah, I don't like using butter. Yeah. Uh, I can't it believe better, it's but. not butter. Right? No, we use Pam. No, if we have to use butter in something, you like, I can't believe it's not butter. Butter's so delicious, but... Bam. Yeah, I know. Butter tastes better for sure. But kind of want to live. I like I like being alive as I'm devouring or sausages and peppers. Yeah, but you don't really eat that. I don't really make that often. You know, like every once in a while I'll give you an unhealthy meal. I feel it all adds up though. Like like see how we're no, having No, not if you're eating it in spare. Like, no, I know. Sparingly. We're good. But um like if you start eating like using butter a lot. Yeah, uh, if you were to do it you know, every day, yeah. You you're like, "Ah, let's get a little fast food here." Next thing you know, we'll throw some donuts down. Next thing you, you're just eating shit. Well, that's constantly. if you lose control. But we don't really lose. I have I mean, zero control. We, like, we don't really lose control. I mean, we've fallen off a couple times here and there, but we don't really lose control. Let's get this decision. I keep them on a healthy diet. Split. Split. Yeah, it should be a split. It's close. I think I, I'm going to say, oh, man, I'm going to say Nemkov. Damage might be the difference, huh? Nemkov gets the win. Nemkov. Yeah, I think it came down to that first round. And Nemkov gets the split. So, Victor Nemkov, another decision. There we go. Beats Rashid, goes to 37-0. and Not bad. So, where does Nemkov sit here? Nemkov is number four now with the light heavyweight standings. Oh, Yusupov's still in it, though. So Yusupov drops to five. So he didn't need it. He didn't need the fight. So Nemkov moves on and Yusupov. So the fight was pretty much useless. Vinny Magaliz almost won a million dollars, and now he is, he is fighting. Wonderful. And the co-main events... Versus Rakeem Cleveland. Rakim Cleveland? Or Rakeem. All right, we're going to react to that next. Let's put that on the thing. A lot of fights here, PFL. That was a good sausage. Avocado oil is gay. I never had avocado oil. You know, Pam, you like Pam. That yeah, stuff, that stuff, you, there's avocado oil. There's avocado Pam now. Oh, is there? Because Pam is usually made with canola oil. And then they have the olive oil one now. For people who want to eat healthier, they have an olive oil one. And then they have a uh, uh, an avocado oil one or some shit like that. But it's like, I, I think the olive oil one is the one that came out for the health, for the people who want to eat healthier. Because canola oil is like the worst oil for you. Want donuts now? You want to get some donuts? No. Yeah. I have a chocolate protein bar in there if you want that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I just want to eat so much. I think because I lost like three pounds. You're like, oh, I have room. Like I could put it and I could put the three pounds back in. I don't even know how I lost it. You ever do that, guys? You ever just like lose three pounds out of nowhere? Like you, you just, eat, you don't do anything different. It's just like three pounds are gone. What is that? It's so weird. Water weight? Yeah, maybe it is water weight. Or maybe you pooped. Maybe it's poop weight. But I haven't really, I mean, what is that? Avocado. Oh, I love avocados, man. I'll eat, I'll eat an avocado on anything. I'll eat it, I'll eat it off the ass. I'll eat it off the puss. Avocados are the best, right? Is there anything better like an addition to a food that's healthy and adds so much to the food? Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's good. And it doesn't really have much of a taste. It just adds like a little consistency. You know what I like? If I don't want to get cheese, like an, a bacon, egg, and cheese, if if I want to try and stay healthy and stay away from the cheese, get a bacon, egg, and avocado, even though the bacon's not the healthiest part of it. get a, Stay away from the cheese and put bacon, egg, and avocado. The avocado is a good replacement for the for the cheese. Uh, avos are a cumin alongside chicken. A cumin. Right? Big griffle eat off the S. The avocado off the S. Can I eat an avocado off your S after the show? We don't have any avocado. Ah, oh, fuck. 
But we do have the S. Ew. Ah, oh, there it is. Wonderful. wonderful. <sighs> oh man, I got that that mustache hair. Now it's it's like it's going up into my nose. You ready for the co-main event? <laughs> I feel so fucking. I feel so fat yet still hungry. I just want to eat. That's all. I, isn't eating great? Right? What's better? I mean, I know sex is good too, but isn't e eating so amazing? What's better eating, than eating? Sex. A good shit. Like a good, healthy eating, bowel movement. Okay, eating, sex, pooping, and then. You know what? Working out. I might have to put the poop above sex. What? No, I put the shit? sex above the poop. Think about the feeling of a good shit. Like you get yeah, out of the bathroom. Yeah, it feels good, but sex feels better. Yeah, but you, so. you're all alive. Like your your whole day is ready to go if you get Have a good one. Have you ever had a really morning. good orgasm? That no. You feel alive then. What does that feel like? Yeah. Sneezing. Kainoto says sneezing is good. You know what? I heard that your heart <sighs> skips a beat when you sneeze. Sleeping. Sleeping's great. I love sleeping. Eating does release dopamine. Eating is great. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's terrible, Jeremiah. Right? No, I don't think so. I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm having uh, uh, I'm very satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. I have the my sh the shape of my penis works to her vagina. You ever meet someone and the shape fits perfectly? <laughs> All right, enough. <laughs> like there's certain people that you you don't fit right with them. You guys, you know what I'm talking about? Like there's certain like that feels good. Like it always oh, feels good. Super. But it doesn't shy. fit just right. It's a good fit. <laughs> JBH, <laughs> I'm happy for you. Congratulations on starting training. Woo! Flexed hmm. biceps, fist, food looks bomb. I'm in school for my CDL, so I'll be absent for some shows. Dot. Ah. Oh, what CDL are you getting? I got a CDL. What um? What class are you going for? Uh, I have a CDL. It's fun. It's good. That road test is so much fun. I hope you hope you get it, man. It's not that hard. The uh, the road stuff's not hard. If I could pass, anyone could pass, right? Uh, she has a super miniature twat. Yeah, it's got to be small, right? It fits perfectly. Uh, Micro veg. All right, here we go. Vinny Magalies. He's coming off two fights. A two oh, fight stop streak. it, Jeremiah. He goes, he's right. Some dick and poon just line up better. Yeah. That's so fake. Like, no, it's true. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm telling you, there's some that feel so good and there oh, are others that feel it. good, but you're just like, eh, it's not right. Tell the tape. Thirty five is Vinny, thirty four Rakeem Cleveland, six foot three for both of them, two hundred five pounds for both of them, seventy five inch reach for Rakeem with a two inch reach advantage of seventy seven inches for Cleveland. All right, here we go. Co main event of the evening. So yeah, he lost that Millie fight against O'Connell. Then lost another one. Uh this year to uh Emiliano Sordi. Got knocked the fuck out. And this guy on a three fight losing streak. Nemkov lost to unanimous decision. Vinny Magalhães. So he lost. To, oh, this is a rematch. Yes, sir. Um. Yeah, he's about to take another L. Rakim. Twelve knockouts and five submissions. Pretty good though. All right. Let's see. It. Maybe uh, he could redeem himself. You think he'll redeem himself? He's a lot younger, right? He's almost doing oh, five years over younger. here. Man. All right, Vinny Magalhães. A uh, Vinny Magalhães. I can only fuck women who weigh over 150 because I, I got a whole lot of... <laughs> uh, dude, I fucked, fucked over a, 1,100 chips. No virgin. Or chicks. 1,100. Fuck. That's a lot of, that's a lot of mileage. 11, could you imagine? 1100 partners it's gonna be insane That's, you almost hit moss's record <laughs> jesse when you took my virginity <gasps> and i was crying that didn't let you know that i didn't have much of experience oh magalese with a nice kick to the body all right we got to get it finished in this one the eggplants rise in this one head kick gets blocked by cleveland so Magali, oh shit. Magali is going for that takedown and Cleveland greets him with a left. Magali's back up to the feet. So both fighters on a losing streak. 
And on Cleveland's losing streak is Magalhães. So, redemption or nah? Magalhães keeps going with the kicks to the midsection. Cleveland walking forward. Ooh, head kick. Again missing by Magalhães. Magalhães charges forward and then goes for the takedown. Magalhães gets Cleveland down to the ground, swooping the legs away from the fence. Side control. Cleveland in trouble. Cleveland's probably not going to get up. Three minutes and 53 seconds. And Magalhães has the side control. Cleveland's in deep shit. And Magalhães is trying to crank on the right arm, uh, arm of Cleveland. Magalhães decides to put his cock in Cleveland's face as he scoots around. Cleveland doesn't want that. And I don't blame him. So Magalhães trying to do some work on the ground here with a lot of time left in the first. Not looking good for Cleveland, huh, Jess? Not looking good for Cleveland. Look at this guy's yam bag on, his, on the side of Cleveland's head. He's going to go for an arm bar here. Oh, no, he's not. He's cranking. Oh, now he's going for the arm. Oh, fuck, this is over. Tap! Magalhães takes Cleveland's arm. And fucking stretches it out. And speaking of stretched out, Jesse. Wonderful, wonderful. Fuck, Magalise made it grow. Now they hit the nail on the head, Jess. Three. Three finishes. Mm -hmm. So if it stays like this, you got it right. If the next fight's a finish, I get it right. So it goes down to the last fight. Damn, that felt good. Oh, that felt good, guys. I needed that. Magalhães gets the win in the first round. And we go to the main event. Just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank our sponsors, Bet DSI. We got some fights this weekend. We have uh, Bare Knuckle this weekend as well. So we're going to be doing a double feature. Get your bets in. Promo code MMA Hole. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. CBD, timeless. 20% off. Promo code MMA Hole. Link in the description. And I, I took that, that, that drip today. I dribbled it right under my tongue. Let it sit there for a minute. I love their oils. And it is wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Remember, if you got a beard, make it look like the mystical ones. 15% off. Promo code MMA Hole. I endorse all these products. Because they are sexy. Wonderful, wonderful. So Magalhães gets the win. Go to the main event of the evening. Jesse sneezes and bless you. Jesse is, she is sickly. She's allergic to the, the manimal. All right. So there we go. They are on the screen. Ishii versus Roche Schultz. Smashed him. Uh, you see that shit real real? Rocholt is sort of a disappointment. We're supposed to be better in MMA than Askren. Well, we're going to find out. Yeah, he's coming off a two-fight losing streak. Wonderful. And Rocholt from Idaho. Looking to get in the win column. He's got his hands full. You got a man that's on a little winning tear in Ishii. So we got Croatia versus Idaho in the main event. I got CBD vape. All right, Duke. How's the vape working for you guys? You like the vape? I like uh, I'm, I like the oil a lot. That's what I use. That and the BCAAs. I'm down with that. I'm down with both of those. The rub works, but it's it's for it's more for like, like I have like 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 joint pain here, so that doesn't really work with this. But with muscles, it works. But the best is is the oils and the BCAAs, in my opinion. You don't think this guy's from Croatia? Wonderful, wonderful. I don't think he's an M word either, but it says Croatia. Ishi from Croatia. This guy looks mean, huh? Right, Jesse? This guy's like, give me, look at my medal. Look at it. Let's see what Ishii's done. So PFL got the split decision. KSW. Decision split. Arm lock and heat 44. All right. And we look at Jared Rochelt. I remember him from last year, too, with the slit American flag tit. 
And he lost to a Goltsov, Hammerfist, and a left hook, punches. So this dude, uh, he's caught some hands in the last couple of fights. Last one was against Tiller and PFL. So a lot of PFL experience and World Series of Fighting. So he was with them before they even changed the PFL. All right, Jesse, you got one more fight in you? Yes, Moss. All right. Let's see what the chat says, Jess. What do we got going on here? Jean-Paul Lescote says, I mean, if Leon Edwards is English, then that dude can be Croatian. Come from Chicago, Ian Lev. Dong, make, dong, make me gas you, bud. Zyklon style. Well, if you're going to gas him, make sure you spell don't right. Oh. Sean Hart says, slit, clit, fla- slit, clit, flag on tit. Mm. The Ian Lev experience says, Kevin here is a clue every year of Genghis Kong. Hmm. Con. Roberto <laughs> Lopez, well, if Kevin is from Chicago, he should know about slaves or slabs. Joke Savage says, do a gaming stream after this. I, I, we're lucky we got this stream out of her. <laughs> I don't know if a gaming stream would work. She's she's pretty sick, right? I'm just, I cover it up well. She's got She's been on the couch all day. She's got phlegm. Phlegm? She's, uh, she's blown the nostrils a couple of times, discreetly. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I told him earlier, I said, I feel like whenever I start to get healthy again, I start feeling, feeling like I'm dying again. Like there's no, uh, no in between. You used to brag about your immune system. Yeah. For this last week, I've been like, I, Monday I was all queasy and, and shit like that. And then I just haven't been well this week. I don't know what's going on. Well, we have a break. Uh, PFL is going to take a hiatus until October. So Thursdays will open up some more, and then we can do those gaming streams on not the MMA holes. Um, how many more weeks for the Contender Series? The Contender Series is, uh, what, like three more weeks of Contender Series? I think three or four more weeks of that, and then Tuesdays come back. So once we get our Tuesdays and Wednesdays back, I mean Thursdays back, then we can do those gaming streams and you know sit there yeah. for like seven hours on not the MMA holes. Yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah. Presidente. Oh man, they're going back and forth. Ian Lev and Kevin. They're up in each other's grills. All right. So uh Cree looks like he's out. Have Adios, a good night, Cree. Cree. Wonderful, wonderful. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. If you guys play uh, Call of Duty, Diddy, I'll try to find you guys. I listen, you think we're bad at those other games? Call of Duty, I'm I'm the worst. Like, you thought I was bad at Everything you see there, Call of Duty, I'm terrible. I can't aim that thing straight for the life of me. I'm really bad. So probably not. Maybe if we got ourselves a hand-me-down game, we would try. We'd give it a go. Mm. But we're not very good. Imagine Colby beating Robbie Lawler so bad it looked fake. This is due chronic. <laughs> In a world. We would like Minecraft. I want to see Moss and JBH play chess. Yo, I'm a freaking master at chess. I'm so good. You don't even know how to play it. Yes, I do. You, re- what you do? I don't know. What makes you think so? I think I don't know how to play chess. When, Where did who you get Who told you how to play tra- chess? My father. Really? Yeah, he right, taught me when I was me. like five. All right, teach me. All of us. Teach me how to play you chess. You don't know how to play chess? I have no clue. That's why you accuse me of not knowing, because you don't know how to play chess. I guarantee the majority of this chat has no clue how to play chess. Everybody knows how to play chess. I used to play a video game when I was a kid. It was like a free online I'd love game. to show you. Wow, look at all these empty seats at PFL. Oh my god. We were just we were joking around with the Manimal last night that who do you know pays for tickets to go to the PFL? Is that Atlantic City? There is no one in the seats. Straight up empty. Right before the main event. Oh my god. Look at him in the middle. He's like he just wants him off of him. He just wants he's like, take your hand off me. Randy Guitar? He just look at him looking away. He's like, all right, get this black guy away from me. They are sitting awfully close to each other, though, right? All right, isn't it? Isn't it? Couture. Why are they so close? There, there's no one in these seats. Oh, this is terrible. You get more people showing at Triton fights. Uh, I played chess since I was a child, says Vernon. Yeah, see, my dad taught me when I was really, really, he, he taught all of us. Everyone he has said, an idea? No, not everyone has an idea. We talk about. My dad says that if you if you can be good at chess, then your logic skill can improve. I always wanted to learn. When I was a kid, I would I would play checkers all the time, and then I had these video games of chess with these like knights that came alive and shit like that, and I would just move things in directions I have no idea how to, how it works. Yeah, it's it's not hard once you get a, a once you <clears> learn <throat> the pieces. So you just gotta learn what beats what. 
Like pawns are easy. In your first move, you can go up two. After that, you can only move up one. You all can right, we'll, go diagonal. We'll like do a it's chess super room. easy once you learn all the all the stuff. There's an address down below. Send us a, a cheap chess set, and uh, we'll do a stream with Chessy. Chessy. <laughs> we should call you Chessy since you know how to play chess. A chess. Chess. I'm going to bed. I'm done. <laughs> the main event hasn't gotten started yet, and I just I'm scrambling words now. Moss is such a goober. Who says? What the fuck? <laughs> Who says goober? You ever been called a goober before? I've, I call What's I call you a goofball. Yeah, goofball. I've heard a goober. Goober, goober is kind of the same a, way. I think a Isn't delicious you? peanut candy, peanut covered in chocolate candy. I think it's like uh, another way of saying <laughs> goofball. I guess a goober. What are you like? Seventy years old, goober? Who said? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it's My like mom some, says goober. Oh uh, well. Well, your mom is 50-something years old, Jesse. I mean, listen. Wow. Wow. What? Wow. I'm just saying it's a generational Moss. thing. Right? Moss. I would imagine. No? Don't go there, Moss. So you're saying Zion Lux is 50 years old? No, you're saying that. <laughs> All I said was my mom says goober. <laughs> a guy in Hodo drops the nincompoop. Yeah. <laughs> Who fuck says goober? <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. Let's get to this main event. All right, Zion's 32. All right. He's bringing Goober back. Goobers are delicious, though. That is my treat for movie theaters. There is no other treat that I need. And I can't have the knockoff. I just need the Goober. You can go to the Dollar Tree, get yourself a box of Goobers. It's got like seven grams of protein in it. That's the way you go. All right, who's getting this, Ishii or Rochelt? Ishii. Ishii for the win? Wonderful. My, my eggplant's going to rise, and I'm going to get my four finishes that I predicted. <laughs> well, NH, you called me 43. How dare you? How dare you get my age wrong? But we still love you. Ishii going to hump him up, says Chrome. Next year's PFL tournament winner gets 250K. All right, right with the empty seats over there? How do they get to fund these million dollar tournaments? All right, here we go. First round has begun. Of the three round fight, Ishii Rochultz. Regular season is going to come to an end. You excited for the playoffs? Yeah. A little more on the line? Yeah. All right. And they got Mini Brock as the ref of the main event. As we have a scattering of people in the crowd. Yeah, Ishii. Circling around as Rochel standing there, tries with the kick, misses with the kick. A late kick by Ishii. What do we got the age on these two? 32 and 33. Two guys, again, that look a little old for their age, right? They, these are young guys. They don't look young. It goes to show you that, you know, fighting puts the years on. I think Ooh. we're going to get an eye poke in this fight. Think so? Yeah, they love their fingers. It's a leg kick by uh, Rochelt. Rochelt waiting for the opportunity to unload that right, but Ishii coming in with a left, missing. Rochelt circling around. Ishii waiting for him. Ishii definitely looks like he's the quicker of the two. Rochelt ducks under. They clinch up. Knee by Rochelt. Rochelt throws him off. Uh, why do you ha have videos of his girl uploaded on his channel? Your channel. What? He t fixed it and said your. Why do you have videos of your girl uploaded on... What is he talking about? On your channel. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, explain. And I'll answer your question for you. Oh, there we go. Rochel lands a nice right on the dome of Ishii. She charges forward with some missing punches. Is this Stipe's cousin? Could be. Stipe. DC is a cheat. Mm -mm. All right, they're clinched up over here. Looks like Rochelle's going to drop some knees. Let's see if he lets him go. Ishii pushing him to the cage in the clinch. And there's the knee by Rochelle. Rochelle throws him off again. 
So Rochelle is showing some strength. All right, let me know the height and weight of the chat. It seems like that's what we're talking about now. What is your height, weight, your circumference? Let us know. Ishii was your here. circumference? Yeah. What's your circumference, Moss? Oh, I'm not going to tell. <laughs> Pink lettuce. Is that a type of marijuana? Sounds like a marijuana name, right? Pink lettuce. DC by rear naked choke third round. DC is going to win. DC is going to win. And then they're going to run it back with John Jones at heavyweight. DC rides off into the sunset. You heard it here first. I'm nine feet tall. They're clinched against the fence. Rocheult spins them off. Ishii spinning them around as well. Rocheult breaks away once again. That's right. We with the CIA. It's here. We all here. Yeah. Five four get fucked. <laughs> Six nine three ten squats seven hundred and sixty five pounds. Some big people in this chat. Five nine one eighty. Not one ninety, excuse me. Roberto's five nine one eighty five. Hey, we got some we got some goat heights in the chat. Got some goddamn goats. Rochelt going for the takedown. Two legs pulls it away from the cage. Now going for the back of Ishii. Ishii with one hand down. Rochelt pushes it. Away from the mat, drops a left. 55 seconds left. And we see some more lefts by Rocheult and the bold spot of Rocheult with the aerial cam. Moss, where do you think you're going to start balding first? Your hairline or on the back of that spot? I think I'm going to go this way. Like, think I think so? this is going to go back. Oh. Yeah. That's I don't want That's how my that. dad balded. Oh. I don't want you to bald like that. Well, I mean, if I had... I think that's going to happen. My dad had looks that. Good. He had the receding. He does, hey, he's got no hair everywhere, though. I mean, he's No, a, when he was starting to bald, when he did have hair, yeah. it was like he had this and it kind of like on the sides. But he's not holding on much at all. So, I mean, he's, well, he's pretty anymore. much Well, not anymore. I'm saying when he had hair. Yeah. Listen, use your ears, Chris. God gave you ears for a reason. And I hope I go bald to piss you off. Mm. I hope I go bald. I hope you don't. I'm gonna, you're going to wake up. I have a feeling up. you're going to have a weird shaped head when you're bald. I told you. What do you mean you have a feeling? I told you I have a weird shaped head. No, when you bald. said you have a round head. No, I said my head sucks to be shaved. Mm. That's what I told you. Listen, you have a pretty weird fucking head yourself, your little bowling pin head. My so, head's fantastic. Pea head. I have a perfect head. We got a watermelon and a pea head over here. <laughs> All right, so Rochelle gets the first round, in my opinion. Jesse, what do you say? Uh, yeah, Rochalt. Rochalt? <laughs> Rochalt gets the first round. Yeah, yeah, see? Uh, went bold at 21, Jeremiah. All right, let me know the follicle situation in the chat. I mean, <laughs> the follicles let's situation. find out about that. I, I, I'm like, I'm taking all the information in tonight. I want to know, are you bald? Do you got the horseshoe? Do you got the fucking skin yarmulke? What do you got going on in the chat? Let me know. Do you got a fucking perm, like uh, internal says? Speaking of perms, it looks like uh, Rochelle's got a little perm, a little bold perm going on. I got hair everywhere. I got it on my nipples. I got it on my fucking balls. I got it on my back, my neck. It's everywhere. It curls up into my ears. That's manly. Yeah, I got it everywhere. <laughs> it doesn't stop the hair. It's in my teeth. Ew. This is how fucked up. You know, my teeth sometimes pull out my beard hair. Yeah, but sometimes I see you like biting your beard hair. Like you curl it's your delicious. bottom lip over and you like you start biting your beard hair. I, they're delicious. They're scrumptious. Is that real bearded man? It can still grow. Receding hairline, but I'm old. This is internal. I've got my hair just not as much as when I was 20. Balding from the sides turned into a mohawk. This is Rakeem. That's a way to do it. Mohawk's badass. I had a mohawk for a um, <laughs> for a kid's birthday party once. <laughs> I showed up. Who was it? Uh, Scott. Scott had a birthday party for his kid. And... Um, I forgot about the party and I decided to go full Chuck Liddell. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I went full Chuck Liddell, like skin hook. Like I look like a complete like lunatic. And I showed up at this guy's party and he's like, dude, before my kid's party, <laughs> I was like, I forgot. <laughs> oh man. I'm graying on the sides. He's drunk. I can only grow a horseshoe. This is Jeremiah. Yeah. And then you got to shave the whole fucking thing, right? You don't want to go with the George Costanza. You got to shave the whole fucking thing off. That's what I would do. Even though my fucking, my hair is, my head is shaped terribly. I would have to shave it. Right? You got it. 
I think a lot of it has to do with what they're putting in the food nowadays. I think people are balding earlier and earlier because of what what's inside our food. You know how many kids in high school, when well, your food, uh, kids in high school that I, like I grew up with, they were balding in high school, like mm. gray and balding in high school. It was bizarre. Like I had bald friends, like going into college, they were straight up bald. It was so weird. Uh, you know, I got lucky in one department, but unlucky in everything else. Oh, Ishii just misses with an uppercut against the fence. Rocho trying to fight him off. Ishii going for a takedown. Gets it. Trips him. Kicks out the leg, but Rocho back up to the feet. I feel like the last fight should have been the main event. Uh, quick fights tonight, says Mike S. My hairdresser can't believe how thick my fair is. Hair. I don't know. Italians. Are you Italian? Italians have really thick hair, I've noticed. Like, even when they're, like, much, much older, they still have all their hair. It's crazy. Most men bald by 35 and just saw in an advertisement. <laughs> Is that what they said? I would I would see that say that's correct, right? Usually when you hit your mid-30s, that's, that's when everything starts falling apart. They said, what, 27 years old is when your body starts to deteriorate, if I remember correctly. 27 years old is when everything just goes... Like, you could still work out and, and, and build muscle and stuff like that. It's a little more difficult, but your body starts to kind of break down after 27. Hmm. Seems young, right? Well, I, got, I already got my first gray hair at 23, so... You're breaking down. It wouldn't surprise me. Italians have really small penises. It's true. Man, you guys aren't even talking about the fight. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Jackson. I am sorry. I apologize. We're going in and out. With PFL, we've done this multiple times. Like, we were live for seven fights, and if it's a, a grinder, which we are seeing right now, as Ishii has Roche shoulder against the fence, you know, we, we, we go off the beaten path. You're not going to get... you Basically, when we do PFL reactions, it's like the preliminaries of the UFC, where we're kind of just hanging out with you guys. So you're not going to get the play-by-play -play that you get for the main card. Sorry. Roche shoulder. Latches around the waist, trying to grab Ishii down to the ground, and that doesn't happen. Going for a single leg now. Ishii fighting him off. So it's nice. Oh, there we go. A dump by Rocho. There we go. Now a cooking. But Ishii squirming back up to the feet. And here we go. Rocho is applying that weight as Ishii stands up. And we're back against the fence again. 40 years, you have problems. Thanks for the explanation. No, no problem. I disagree. So now we're back on the ground. One knee by Ishii. And he has a big man on his back. Imagine holding that pressure. That weight. But he gets back up again. So Ishii back to the feet once again against the fence. 20 seconds left in the second round of a grinder. Oof. Considering we had a couple of finishes on this card, I, I feel like I feel drained from some of these fights. Yeah. I mean, credit to both of these guys. They're tough, but a lot of empty seats. It feels like it doesn't feel like popping right now. Ishii spins him off, lands a couple of shots, and it looked like late shots, but that round is over. I'm going two zip for a Rochal. What do you say, Jess? Two zip. Two zip. All right, let's see what's going on in this chat. Let's see what's going on with the people, Jesse. Uh, CRT, you return to 18 years old. Jesse, you all right? You have a headache? Yeah, I've had a headache all day. I have a cold. I woke up with a cold, so I've had a, a serious sinus migraine all day. It's uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, faggot, I'll find you on Crip, says Jeremiah. Jesse, you had a Panadol. What is what is that? Panadol. Uh, heavy micro grows a sinus point under the upper eye socket. Find notch and press. What? There's a sinus point under your upper eye socket. Where is it? I'm not going to press on my eye. Oh, I was going to do it for you. Jesus. Why are you using the Lord's name in vain? I just pr press on my temples. You ready for third round? And begin. Okay. They high five each other. A little respect. And Ishii Rocholtz, the end of the regular season, is about to finish. 
and wind down as we have two fat boys ready to throw some gloves. Do we get a finish or do we get a decision? Head kick by Ishii blocked. Roshel comes forward with a right missing back to the middle of the cage. Ishii with a combination. Clinching up. Knees to the body by Roshel. Roshel looking pretty tired. Ishii looking a little sluggish as well. And we are clinched up in the middle of the cage. And they are standing there. It looks like the ref is saying something to them. I don't know what. But Ishii pushing off. Head over hot water and a towel and Vicks. That's Did you what, use any Vicks? No, that's what I was asking him earlier. If we, we had, if we have Vicks, because my mom used to, to do that. The hot water and the Vicks with the towel over your head. Yeah, let that snot just pour out of your nose. Do it. It clears out your sinuses. Live stream it. No. <laughs> Gross. An eight ball of Coke will get you rid of your headache. <laughs> you wanted some Coke? Sure. Some Coke? Actually, you know what? If you do have a headache, um, the CBD, you should probably pop that. Yeah, but I've been trying to refrain from putting it, uh, like things in my system lately. Okay. You know, just kind of. That's been uh, known to work. What's up, Chile? Chile in the chat. Gonzalo, what's going on? All right, so with 319 left, a leg to the body by Ishii. Roshel comes in, eats a Superman punch. So Ishii showing a little more energy in this round. Lands a left, pushing Roshel against the fence. Roshel looking exhausted. Oh my god, he is just laying against... Uh, Ishii is just laying against Roshel. They're both mouth wide open, extremely tired here in the third. And they break off. Here we go. Now Roshel moving forward. Hits him with a right. Looks like it came in a little lackluster of energy. A couple of uppercuts. They break off. Ishii with the right. So, yeah, it looks like both of these guys have a lot less zip on the punches. The corner. You see him with his ha hands on his head? Which corner is that? He's not liking the action here. Oh, man. Ishii over the top misses. But Roshel pushing against the fence. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm agreeing with you, Mike. Two zip, Rochel. This is a this is a grueling one. Rochel coming off the two fight losing streak. Ishii's been winning for a while. He's twenty two eight and one. Might take a blemish here if Rochel holds on, going for a single. Yeah, it is hit or miss. Rochel sucks. All he can do is wrestle. No striking. Yeah. And, I mean, are we really impressed by the wrestling here? I mean, Ishii's been able to get up multiple times. Rochelle couldn't really hold him there. He is holding him against the fence now, and it is. This is rough, man. So Rochelle pushing all his weight. Now he's trying to go for a double. Ishii trying to stop him with wide legs. Rochelle is going to take a gasp of air, try to lift him up, and Ishii slides his head up. So Ishii is trying to push him off. But Rochelle putting all that weight against him. And here we go. Still laying that weight on Ishii. Katoro can walk into the cage and beat both these guys with with on with a suit. That'd be awesome. That'd be badass if he did that. <laughs> I would rather watch paint dry. It is pretty bad. I'm the, I, I am not going to disagree. 50 seconds left. And these guys are completely gassed as they break apart. Now they're clenched up. In the middle of the cage. And let's see if anyone can throw a punch. They're just, they keep on clinching up. A couple of uppercuts by both guys and knee to the body by Ishii. And they are gasping for air. They just want the clock to stop. They want the fight to end. They are tired. Knee coming in by Rochelt. Very slow. Oh, man. Look at these guys, Jez. <laughs> they are exhausted. They just keep on breaking. They're just leaning on each other. And then break. And then lean. They just want to go to sleep. Someone put a pillow in there. They're exhausted. Rochelle looks over at the ref. I don't know. Oh, there's a nice right by Rochelle. Ishii's, that woke him up. Under four seconds. Two. One. And the fight is over. Who's calling me? Why is Mike calling me? He's nowhere live. Answer it. 
I'm not. Hi. Hi, Mike. We're live. You want to say hello? Hi. Are you really live? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Mike. Hi. Yeah. You want to say hello? Hi. Hi, uh, MMA holes. <laughs> <laughs> From Vienna. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, we're watching PFL. We're watching uh, PFL now. You're missing all the good oh, fun. Oh, that's not very good. I, uh, I saw you had that guest last night. It was fantastic. <laughs> the manimal? <laughs> what, did he come by your house? Yeah, yeah, he stopped by. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, good you're guy. In. You're in. I'm in. All right, we'll call you when we're done. We're almost done. Well, I'm going to bed. We'll talk tomorrow. All right, good night. Sweet dreams. There he goes. <laughs> he said love you? <laughs> did you say love you? No, I said sweet dreams. That was V neck. That was V neck Mike. How many people in the chat have been around for V neck Mike? Let me know. Guy's hilarious. Let me know. Oh shit! Orange man bed it might be someone I know. Look at that. That's interesting. What do you mean, someone you know? Well, look, look at this. That's not someone you know. No? No. How do they know that? That's easy to know. How? Because he's been in the chat before. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah. It's possible. Definitely not someone you know. I know who Orange Man Bad is. How do you know? Because they were just talking about it. Yeah? Yeah. No, you think, it, you think you know everybody. That is not someone you know. Oh, maybe I don't. I don't know. Uh, now Greg Oden saying it. Uh, where's Diaper John? Diaper John's, uh, we, he hasn't been on air in a long time. Uh, okay. See, drunk says someone we know. Then <laughs> your friend is a faggot. <laughs> well, yeah, it wouldn't be the first time I heard my friend's a faggot. V neck Mike, lol. All right, here we go. Let's see who won this fight. I'm going to say Rochel won, but, um, wonderful, wonderful. Mm, that was a terrible fight. That was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Horrible. 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 All right. Sacrifice a chicken and pour the blood on a hot on hot coals while you chant from the Aztec. <laughs> What's going on, boys? <laughs> What's he talking about? All right. Here we go. Who do you think won? Rochelt. Yeah. I'm going to agree with you. They're showing highlights. Are there really highlights to this fight? I figure it has to be the one of the funniest words ever. I tell you what, apparently the gay community don't like it. Right? They get really tr triggered. We heard on uh, the Stern show, too. That's because the bagel boss had the nerve to use it and but it pissed off. Is it really like any gay people in the chat? Is it really that bad? Like, I mean, I guess like straight people use it as an insult. So I guess if, if people use it as an insult, then they'd be like, wait, I'm gay. And you're saying it's insulting to be gay. Like, I guess they can. I can see. But it's so fucking stupid. It's just a word. You're not allowed to say midget either. Or retard or any of that stuff. I don't know. <laughs> the gay community is kind of faggy. And yeah, that's true. All right, who gets the win? Rose Schultz. All right. So you were white, right. I was going to say white. You are white, too. You were right about the three finishes. Good prediction. Jesse gets it done. The three, the three finishes, she called it. And Rose Schultz gets the win. Wonderful, wonderful. So. All right, I'm going to go put some Vicks in some hot water. And then we're going to get donuts. No, we're not getting donuts. <laughs> uh, Brian Pieces, the MMA holds. You guys invest in cryptocurrency. Much better chance to get rich than gambling nah. on sports. No, nah, we don't do the cryptocurrency thing. We should. We've been advised to do it, and I can't, I can't wrap my head around it. We should. We need a good crypto person. To advise us. All right. Okay. So you done? Are you you're out. Yeah, That's I'm a, I got to do something about this headache. All right, it's, go it's do something about this amusing. headache, guys and gals. Thank you for joining us on this comfortable, cozy PFL night. We do appreciate your company. As we have just witnessed, the um, regular season end. It's going to move to the playoffs in o October. So no more PFL Thursdays until October. Um, but we do have more contender series on Tuesdays, and we'll be live. For Fuku on Friday tomorrow, and oh shit, what's the score on Fuku on Friday? I who, won who, last time. You won the last time. Yeah. So I have to pick a song then, yes. right? So let me see. So Remember I, I you did Barbie Girl? That was last week. 
Yeah. Okay. So I've I- been drinking water. I've been downing it all day, Kelly Miller. You don't even know. I, I, I think I've drinking more water in the last two days than I have in my entire life. All right. Here's the wheel, the karaoke wheel. So I got to get rid of Barbie girl and I have to put something in its place. So I have to put something incredibly cringy in the pink spot. Fuck. I was hoping that I had to replace something else. I mean, we got fucking sugar by full apple. Boy, that gets pretty cringy. Um, man, what song? All right. Help me out in the chat. We'll figure it out. Let me know. All right, Jess. I'm going <laughs> to, you can go. I'm going to shut it down. Oh, you got to say the magic words. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, well, help me out in the comment section. Uh, let me know a really cringy, like I need something like, like as bad as Barbie girl. And I'm going to put it on there. And now you're pregnant again. Once again. God, it's like anytime there's like Every an month. ailment. Oh, she's pregnant. <laughs> Everyone's Jesse's pregnant. All right. Well, once again, congratulate Jesse. She's pregnant once again. <laughs> For like the, the fifth <laughs> month in a row. <laughs> Pretty soon they're going to say, Maj, you're pregnant. <laughs> That's more believable. I got a bigger belly. Yeah. All right. All Ram right. Ranch. Oh, fuck. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> is there Ram Ranch karaoke? Let me see. I don't even know what Ram Ranch is. Uh. <laughs> oh my god let me see if there is a karaoke for that uh see look after the show yeah I, I will just hold on a second oh my god there is oh for fuck's sakes hold on i'll play a little bit of it no i can't yeah, i'm gonna get in trouble yeah all right i'll play it on tomorrow if we do it ram ranch you guys want that <laughs> oh my god you never heard of Ram Ranch? You know what Ram Ranch is? Uh, I can't remember Moss. That's the song that um, Asian Andy would use all the time. He would have that donation that would play. And it was basically like like fucking cowboys or some shit like that. Like a gay guy. Okay. All right. Anyway, Jesse wants to go. You guys, you're done. We're done. Jesse's done with you. She had enough. She had enough. Jesse says no more. She's got to be good for food. Go on Friday. Don't be an a-hole. Be an M-M-A-hole.